All right, and we're live. And I'm nervous as fuck. <laughs> I love seeing you nervous too, Tommy. You burn know, hard man. like a hard penis. <laughs> uh, but I want to thank, I'm going to say Manson all night because that's always what I'm saying. Whatever you're comfortable with, it's fine with me. I'm sorry, yeah. I know your name is Mike Waters, but I, I, Manson has been ingrained in my head for 20 plus <laughs> years. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And um, I've been a fan forever. You are by hands down the best prank phone caller and parody person to ever exist on this planet. And I know you probably will say, ah, uh, but it's true. <laughs> no, from the day I met Tommy, he's been talking about Howard and you and Bubba, like always from day one. <laughs> it, it's crazy. Cool. It's cool. I appreciate that. Man. Yeah. Really yeah appreciate and, uh, I mean, and I know that a lot of our, chat isn't going to get it at first and i'll never get all 20 years of pent up stuff out in an hour but i'm going to give it my fucking best and let it ride so i'm not going to say hi to all you guys in the chat thank you for being here because i want to waste time I only have hi, everyone. an hour and it may never happen again you'll probably be like what the fuck did i do why did i come here yeah but i love him and i wanted to talk with him and he was so gracious to take the time out to do it and thank you uh, no problem man i'll always appreciate you people who enjoyed the show yeah it's amazing you guys had uh, people thought Howard Stern was edgy, you know, like, and you guys took it to a whole new level on the Bubba show when you were in your heyday. It yeah, was we, we were out of control, out of control. It was only a matter of time before we got fined. It was just like, we just, you know, I mean, the, but it's, you know, it's like the buck stops here, like it doesn't stop, you know, in, in government, it doesn't stop, and it doesn't stop in corporations. They didn't say, hey, you guys got to tone that down, or we're going to get fined. They were like, yeah, number one, baby, let's keep it going. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they should have made us go way down. Did you hear your feedback somewhere? Is there I'm going to mute myself for a minute. My son's in the shower. In the shower or the shower? What shower. Is the, the pipe is right next to me. Yeah. But uh, so sorry about that. But yeah. And you guys, I know you and Howard, there's always this thing like I had the bigger fine. I had the bigger. You guys got fined the single largest single fine, right? Or something. Yeah. $750,000. $750,000. Thousand dollars. That was back in the day too, so it means it meant, it meant a little more back when yeah. seven hundred fifty thousand meant something. And then all the time. Trillion. And then you're not now. Now at this point, you're not the radio stations like you know Love Child that's making them all this money. You're now the probably, you know what a problem at this point, right? Once we got to fine, it was yeah. well. That's what I mean. We got fired. We just yeah, you know, you got fired. We, yeah, we got fired, and uh, we, nobody nobody would hire us and. Yeah. Uh, but they, I believe John Hogan, who was the president of, oh, I don't know, what was it, Clear Channel or, the, or who it was at the time, uh, went before Congress and he said something about the Bubba show that was disparaging that some lawyer caught and said, hey, man, now you get, they got to pay you your salary because they said this shit about you and you're not hireable now. Really? And, and we got, so he got paid. And then he was like, "Here, I'm going to pay you this much to not get a job." And I was like, "No, I'm going to go get a job because that's not. I want to make more money." And he's like, "Okay, how about if I pay you this much to not get a job?" I was like, "Oh, okay." And I didn't work for two years. And everybody goes, hey, "What did you do?" And I was like, "I have the best time in my life." Yeah. I got a two-year vacation. <laughs> I got like you know a, a two, three-year-olds and a five-year-old man. I'm just you know, right. Life is good. Yeah. <laughs> and and because Howard got hit. You, it wasn't far apart, if I remember correctly. This is a long time ago, so you, it wasn't far apart. They tried to make a, you know, a statement about you guys, and Howard got the most fines in total, I think, and you guys got the most the yeah, largest single, sing, single fine, like seven hundred and fifty grand. And then mm -hmm. Howard became, I think he got fired as well, correct? Right from he was Viacom, and you were or, or you were Clear Channel or vice versa. I yep. can't remember it all. Yeah, there. it was the bloodbath after the uh, Nipplegate. Yeah, the Nipplegate. Yes, <laughs> Nipplegate. He went, went haywire. Yeah, that's what it was. You're because right. Of, it was Janet Jackson. Isn't that who that was? Nipplegate? It, it was the most rewound thing in TiVo history, mm -hmm. meaning everybody wanted to see it again and again and again. They were but trying yet, to say it, but yet they complain about it and we lose our jobs. <laughs> I know. Hypocrites. It's, it's crazy. But, you know, and then Howard had the vision to go to Sirius, of course, which you got to give him credit, whether you like him or not. I know, you, I know you, you've been a fan your whole life, right? Oh, Howard? yeah, I have. Even though, I mean, I didn't even, he wasn't down here. I had no access to Howard Stern except from when he'd appear on the David Letterman show and things like that. Right. Mm -hmm. so I, but I, I loved him from shows like that. So right. I ordered tapes and shit, you know, because mm -hmm. I, I liked him so much. But I never heard his show until later in, in my life. 
Yeah, and you're um, in Florida. We have a lot of people in Florida on here, so they'll they'll resonate. <laughs> so, they uh, we have quite a few friends in Florida. Are you where? I know where you. I'm not going to say the town you're in, but I I know what it is. But is that Century, like near Tampa, right? Yeah, Tampa. I mean, yeah, okay. right around. I know Tampa. you're on the outskirts in the country, but yeah, and um, yeah, but so is that what? What? When did you know that you wanted to be in radio? That's my question. Like, at what age? You know, I'm, I was like stupid i guess like all i did when i was younger i had a tape recorder and i would tape record things on the radio and make you know like you know funny answers to quite i think ask the question and have the song make the answer when i was like 10 right. and i was making <laughs> movies and vampire movies and stuff and i never even thought that maybe i should go into something creative and i wandered around doing shitty odd jobs for like 12 years until i just happened to get into radio and i was like oh my god this is what I wanted to do. Why didn't somebody? So you were born this way, like yeah, you were literally. I born. I didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah. No, so I, I, I was. I don't know how you not know that when that's all yeah. I ever wanted to do. You know, other kids. Right. I mean, I played sports a lot, but when I wasn't doing that, I was making movies with like GI Joes and stuff. And I never dawned on me that I should probably do that. For, at least try to do that for a living. Right. What I like to do. And Tracy can tell you, like I. I literally every song I hear, I just replace all the words in it. I've done it my whole life. Like you know, yeah. I'm nowhere. I'm not. I don't have the talent. Like I don't, you, piss more talent than I have. Trust me by far. <laughs> but I, it's been my whole life as long as I can remember. Like you know, I used to just scoot around the floors and aims when I was a kid and make stupid sounds to draw attention. And then, I my dad would push these crappy songs on me like the Four Seasons, and I would make them like, more relevant. And I, I'm like, you know. Uh, just to this day, I just, I still do it. And, um, I, I, I resonate with that so much. And I'm happy to think Umbridge, the four seasons did have some good songs. Yeah, they did. I know they did, but it, when, when you're 12 <laughs> years old or 10 years old, they, they're not really that great at that point. You know, you yeah, know, it's not, I would, I can't, have, who loves you? I mean, that was low. <laughs> well, yeah, when you to be cool. Right. <laughs> and the thing about it is also, so, and you start, you got your own show first, right? If I remember you went out to like bumfuck middle of the, Country yeah. somewhere. Quad, Quad Cities, Iowa. Right. Yeah. And you got fired because you were too dirty. Yeah. It was stupid. It was stupid, you know. You sent them a dirty tape. They went, we love it. And then we started being dirty. They were like, that's way too dirty. And we were like, you want them to be dirty. And then we stopped it. And they were like, it was too late. We want you without being you. <laughs> that, that's yeah. It. I mean, you know, you live. You know, I was young and not smart. You don't go into a market and replace the, the show that's been number one for like six years. Because you're gonna, there's nowhere to go but down. There's nowhere to go, and people they don't. Even if you're good, they listen. You go, you're not who I'm used to. Right. You know, change the channel and go. You know. So we, yeah. And then then they went across the street. So everybody went with them, and then we started doing okay. But they, yeah, they had enough of us. So eight months and out. Eight, they, yeah, I bought a house. Back to Florida, like, right? You went back to Florida. Yep. Yeah. Was how, then, I, within a were, year, I was on the Bubba show, so it was like very uh, good timing. Right. Yeah. And it's uh, man. But when did you first learn about Howard, though? You just heard about him from the news and Letterman and all that? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, uh, just like when life? did you realize that, like, that type of radio existed, I guess, that shock jock like, radio? I, yeah, probably in my, in, my, in my late teens. There wasn't any, really anything like that in Tampa until Ron and Ron. I can't remember when exactly they came on, but they were the first, you know, I don't know if you, you, you probably never heard of Ron and Ron. They were a local... They were a southeast thing. They got syndicated in Miami, and then they started going some other places. Uh, but they never got big. They never went nationwide, so they never got the acclaim. They could have because they, yeah, they were very good. But right. Ron and Ron, uh, and that's probably when I was exposed to Stern from the Letterman show. Just think of, like it was when Letterman came on in the early 80s, I think. So that, Right, yeah. I, just, my, I was in my early 20s when I, I learned. I've heard Bubba talk about so many, and you guys make parodies of so many Florida radio people that my mind, like, you know, the the midget guy the uh, Schnitt Todd Schnitt what is his name? Oh uh, yeah, Todd Schnitt. I mean, we yeah, had like, a, oh my god, that was, we had a that, was, that was like years of fodder with that guy. Like that was you used to work for him, right? Yeah, so I mean, you know, you had firsthand for I had firsthand knowledge of you know how, how he was, and so Bob oh, was really good at, at making fun of people, and I'm really good at making fun of people in songs, and so we would just. You know, when you make a song about somebody, people repeat it and repeat it because they get the songs catchy, you yeah. know. And so that well, just, yeah, drives people insane. And you guys push the edge. I mean, the absolute edge with parody songs that would be borderline suicidal for any other show. 
Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like uh, one that always sticks in my head was the Casey Anthony. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a lot of heat for that one. Terry Shivo, oh my God! Like <laughs> no one would touch that shit with a ten foot pole. Like you and you're like. <laughs> my, my trunk was definitely yeah. I mean, having my fourteen year old daughter sing Fergie's part, my trunk. My trunk, my trunk, my trunk, and having her sing the, uh, you know, I wrote some pretty risque lines about a dead baby in a trunk for her. And, you know, yeah. Did you, course, the Casey you Anthony saga? Did, you, did you ever hear about that, Tracy? No, no. Casey Anthony was a, was a hot, like, 20, what, younger 20s mom in Florida. Yep. She put her, she wanted to go party and put her baby in the trunk, killed it. Oh. I, allegedly, I, I don't well, know what all happened, but they don't know exactly what happened. All they know is the baby wound up in her trunk, and she drove around for several days mm -hmm. with the baby in her Holy trunk crap. for several days, mm -hmm. which was a horrific thing. So I did a song mm -hmm. about it just to accentuate how horrible that was. Yeah, but still, it was shocking to people. It was Damn. pretty. Yeah. It was pretty so funny. It was the, it was the uh, <laughs> what's, what's all that? Uh, the inside my junk, my junk. You know the Fergie and mm -hmm. song. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did a parody of that, right? And it was inside in my, my trunk. trunk. Oh, got you. My God. I got it was you. So brutal. And then uh then Terry Shiva was the lady that was on like uh, life support in Florida for years, right? And her family right. was warring over to take her off or not or oh, for years and years. As she, I mean, she just she never even moved. She lay she lay expressionless mm -hmm. for years. Damn. They wouldn't they wouldn't let her go. Mm -hmm. And they made so many things about about that, that it yeah. was just it's like President Bush made like a call in the middle of the night to get him to stop taking the feeding tube out. And it's like, since when does the president do that? Mm -hmm. I couldn't figure anything out about that case. <laughs> it's wild. No. When they unplugged her, she starved to death. The yeah, point it was just to make a statement. You know, they, won't, they, 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 they make you have to starve to death. They won't put you to death, but right. they'll let you starve to death. It's like the, the most ass backward so, thing you've ever heard in your life. What a kind of Yeah, but you can put your you can put your pet to rest peacefully, yeah. but you can't. You're human. Yeah. And no. you're, you're considered a bad pet owner if you don't put your pet down mm -hmm. when you know suffering. But yeah. a human you just let them so you got because you got to get that money to the last second. Last second. I agree. Well and it's and We'll get into that if you if I could ever convince you to come back again. We'll go into this because you and I think exactly like when it comes to the government and all the bullshit and all the shit that goes on in this world. There's a lot of shit going on well, right now. One of my favorites that he did read, I don't even think it was that long ago, is the Joe Biden video. <laughs> it's oh, good. It's very lot, good. A lot of material with Joe Biden. I mean, he a just lot. Spews out the material. He's got there's so and much now, damning video of him, and he and he yeah. hasn't even started making the gaffes. That he's going to make in the future. And, and that's another thing I didn't even mention is like your impersonations. Like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't even know them all offhand, but I know your Clinton is fucking on point. Uh, would, yeah, I mean, that was, uh, you know, I was very, you know, I'm not like a master impressionist. I do a few pretty good ones. Like Clinton was one of my, one of the girls and I did a decent Eminem and I'm good at writing rhymes. So. I got a, sh a shit ton of mileage out of Eminem parody. Eminem you know, so like, I, would come up, I would come up with things like, okay, what can Eminem do? He can do Bible stories. So I was like talking like Eminem <laughs> with a rat beat under it. And people people liked it. So, I, But I had a few that I did really well. You know, like I, I don't have a, much of a Trump. I, I, I did a decent George W., but I couldn't, I couldn't do Obama. No, hardly anyone could do Obama. And what, yeah. Why did you need to? He was so boring. It doesn't matter what political affiliation you are. He was a yeah. snooze fan. He didn't do anything fun at all. There's no, <laughs> there's no making fun of him. He did the only nothing. thing he got was gray hair the whole time. He didn't get head. He didn't get any whores. He didn't That's do. He didn't, he didn't even buy cigars or anything. It's, it's I mean, he didn't, he didn't even say mission accomplished. You know, there was nothing. There wasn't. Can mm -hmm. you think of an Obamaism? Remember yeah. the terrorists, the Mexicans? How many? To, how, Terrorist. Just Mexican. the birth certificate. That's all you had on him was the birth certificate. That was from the other side, though. But if <laughs> I, I had a dollar for every time I heard you guys do terror, Mexicans, terror, like, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, my I mean, God. I mean, you know, he's got, he had the standard everybody knows is I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I mean, everybody knows that. He had catchphrases. Yeah. yeah Obama didn't weird. have a catchphrase. No. Trump's got a thousand of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's a lot of Trump material out there. He's got a thousand catchphrases. And yeah. Clinton is still getting in the news with now with the oh, Epstein. Yeah. And he's still, mm -hmm. I did not have sex on that island with that woman. <laughs> it's it's going to be a whole nother one you're going to be able to do. Uh -huh. I, yeah, I've already done a song about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I, I'm behind on ever since we started doing this and I'm starting to learn more about like, because we've only been doing this a year and we suck. Mm -hmm. We know it. we're new. And, yeah. it, and we started in that, like you were saying to your chat in the reselling area, because that's what we do for a living. Yeah. 
And then I, I mean, just that could, be, that could be a good niche. It, it could is for niche. some, but they we're we're just like you guys. We they can't handle the the truth a lot of times in this space. So <laughs> we're pretty we honest. Of, yeah, and, we get a lot of heat. And, and, and you know, let me tell you, you know, if you want to do that, uh, that's what we do. And mm-hmm. being true to yourself and true to your beliefs mm-hmm. is a really cool thing to do. It's yeah. not a good business model. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not. I mean, we sit here, we yell right. and scream and speak truth, and we're yeah. like, we're driving people away because they just don't get it. We should. Yeah. Just, well, I we personally down the think you're. Of the road. Yeah, but I think you're gonna. I mean, basically, there's always gonna be people that want to hate you, no matter what you're doing. So you might as well just do what you want and yeah, I, I take never, a few more haters. Why if not? I, if, if I'd not been so dirty, I, I don't know. I'm. I mean, like, I'm a good family man. I'm a you know, I'm a faithful husband. My humor has always been blue and I can't not, I can't not do it. I have to, you know, I I would never take a job at a station where they were like, well, you can't be dirty and say this. I was like, I I just don't want to have those. You can't write a parody song. song Yeah. You you imagine like writing a parody song about just pop culture that has no filth, no nothing, no, no innuendos, just straight Mm -hmm. and narrow. You couldn't do it. It's impossible. It would be boring. You'd be in front of one. I've done like a few songs. uh, Like Mm -hmm. I'm I'm talking a handful in my career that were completely clean, but were still good. I'm very proud of them because it was really hard. (laughs) But I I just, I mean, you know, saying that fucking asshole has impact in my opinion. (laughs) You know, when you say, you know, when you say shit like that, that's how people talk. And when you, when you, you you censor it, it's to me it's like censoring art. It's like you know that people don't take comedians or people who do things in comedy as artists. Well, you know, if everybody could do it, then they'd be doing it. We have a, we have a certain talent. You know, like I can rhyme and do do some bad voices. So I never it's prep for anything, like people. ever. I never prep for anything. I don't. I just usually just hit live and we just fly. So today I actually uh, wrote down my thoughts right, and I haven't. And I've already just totally fucked it over. I haven't done anything that we. I Who are that. you? Don't even try. <laughs> Why are you trying to change it up now? Oh, God. Man. I mean, it's my, the name of our show is Cluster F. Cluster I know. F. Yeah, you know, Cluster F. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, F. I'm an honest guy. From the word go, everybody mm-hmm. said, you don't, don't name it that. It's negative. I was like, listen, they'll mm-hmm. listen to the show. And I've been doing the show for like 10 years. And I, I'm, I'm still fucking shit up, you know, with the technical aspect because you know, I, I've got a lot, there's a lot of shit going on in my mind, you know? So it's clusterfuck and it's all, it always will be. You know what it got me at first? Like the first time I saw there was an issue on, well, I, okay. So just back because I believed in Bubba because of you and that's not a bullshit blowing smoke up your ass or anything. So yeah, that is the honest truth. You gave him the legitimacy because I didn't, I didn't, because, you know, there were so many things going on. We didn't know the truth out here. We didn't know if it was true or not. Bubba always denied everything. My theory was because I could always tell your relationship with you and Donna and Berlin and Trace. And I'm sorry, I don't know your younger son's name. I forget his name. Weston, you know, Weston. Weston. That's right. He doesn't show up much. You keep him clean. <laughs> it's like, he, he likes to sit off camera. Yeah. So <laughs> you, I could tell that you were more concerned about your welfare your family your career and stuff like that that's what i've always seen since day one and i could always see that bubba was always in turmoil but you were always by his side so that gave it legitimacy to me as long as you were there and i'm not knocking you for that i'm just saying that was a career you know i mean i think that that is i've never heard that question or even if that is a question but that statement of ever before and you really i did give him legitimacy and you know I, I don't know whether I I conned myself into believing that you know he was deep down a good guy. I don't know if I conned that to to ease my conscience as I right. promoted someone who wasn't a good person. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I because I would sometimes I'd, I'd ask you know my wife or something. It's like you know it's hard to sit in a room with someone for four hours a day to and have this a relationship where you laugh. And you yell and you interact and you know everything about each other for 23 years and not feel something for that person. Right. I was like, so it, it really messes with your mind when you know that person's lying to you and stuff. Right. I think I was totally mind fucked. And I like the way I handled it, I blew well, it. You were in so I left with nothing. Point. You know, yeah, I you, totally you, like, ah, whatever, you know, because I, I flew off the handle. You know, I should have fucking, I should have milked a lot. I should have got a lot of people. I, should, I had a lot of fans and I, they don't even yeah. know where I am. Yeah. Hey, you know. And, and 
but it's Maybe like I, I did legitimize him, and I, sometimes I think about that and go, "Man, that was kind of a dick thing to do," because you knew he was a dirtbag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, you, and but you were in so deep, though, right? I mean, you you were in so deep at that point, you know. Oh, and I, I and deep, man, I was in deep. Yeah, twenty three like years of, of, the, of incredible success. I know a lot of it's shtick, and I know because he used to always claim he was paying you guys like you know tons of money, in which I'm sure in the highlight he did. He seemed like he, he was a, a he was an excellent boss as far right. as fair compensation right like we were more we were more compensated than than any other people right. in the industry for our positions and i always commended him for that and, and uh, that obviously they, he paid well not at the end but but that's what i'm saying so for you to to just say fuck this i'm out 20 <laughs> years in and try to start all over you're probably i mean this is just me thinking like you're like fuck i'm i'm you're kind of stuck you yeah, mean yeah. When, when I quit? No, no, not that. Well, I mean, oh, like, no. you, when, yeah, the last few months or the six months was so horrible. Just mis you know, just miserable. Wow. Going in, you know, screaming in the car on the way to work, just hating your job because it was like, I mean, I could tell you stories, but just working with someone who's just like, um, almost like mentally ill as far as the lying and they like to lie to your face so things that you know aren't true so it's like they get off on you having to act like you believe them it was like a, such a mind fuck so that was my day every day come you know he's like come into my office and close the door and i would just like want to shoot myself because i knew it was going to be some kind of psycho babble that we you know they was trying to see what they're trying to do to mind me. fuck me <laughs> go ahead Ahead, Man, you see what they're trying to do to me? I can hear them. They're, they're trying to make it up. <laughs> uh, I mean, who knows what it would be or some crazy idea. And I'd be going, are you serious? I mean, yeah. I, well, I, you give them a little forgiveness when you know it's a mental illness and that's the problem. You shouldn't. Maybe you no, you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but hey, it, yeah. I'm, I'm doing, like, I love what I'm doing now. I love, I love streaming on Twitch twitch.tv forward slash cluster f show that's a yeah, show Drake, every put in the chat for us well that's his youtube that i've been putting in there i need to find if someone could find it my computer can't handle that yeah, much we, to pull up we twitch right now if, it, if you could do uh, the, find the cluster yeah. well, we, stre we stream every you know day eight to eleven and uh, we stream on friday nights and i stream on sunday nights and uh as a family, you know, it's my son, me, sometimes my daughter, my wife, uh, my best friend, and uh, sometimes my other son and, and their girlfriends. And amazingly, it's like a reality show doing this for a year, and we haven't uh, we haven't got mad at each other and and ruined That's our awesome. I mean, yeah. you know, yay! So, do you love do you love Twitch? Like, what do you? What's do, the best? I thing? do like it. I, yeah. I mean, I've I've been in radio my entire career. And it's not necessarily the visual aspect. To me, it's the chat aspect. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so interesting to interact with fans and have fans that you you know that you know that are you're close to and interact to and you you know you you're doing a show, but you're also listening to what the fans say in the chat. And sometimes they say really funny, or you get good ideas. I really like it. You know, it's it's probably not the, for us to grow. It's not the right medium. That's not our target audience is Twitch, but we yeah. have a great base. Yeah. You know, but YouTube is impossible though for live shows. It's impossible. We've been doing it for a year. It, mm. YouTube does not, I mean, everyone knows it. it they do not promote live at all. They, it's just, there's no, and there it may live. change in the future, yeah. but for now it doesn't. Twitch it's not, YouTube live is not like something I think of. There you go. Thank yeah. you, Don and Mac. Oh, there's thanks, the Don. You guys get <laughs> subscribe to that and it is it's like a variety show you do things you do we'll get into net in a minute uh because it's crazy like people that's going to be a whole that's a, that's a, yeah so we got a lot of crazy stories around, man. around ned that's just <laughs> mind-blowing to me hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, I, i'm right with you man <laughs> <laughs> but yeah they do a variety show so uh manson does like manson's ipod what's on my ipod and he and he does he'll sing along and does stuff and that's another thing. You were in a band. You were like a hair band, right? Yeah, uh, 80s hair band. You had some good ass hair, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's the, uh, not a, that's another story, Tracy. Uh -oh. I, I, when I went to, to audition for the band, well, at first I went and watched them, see if they were any good. And I was mm -hmm. like, they're pretty good. The singer is terrible, but, you know, so awesome. But I had super short hair, and they're all, it's a hair band. It was a hair band, leotard. Yeah mascara yeah. and you know hair down past your you know to your waist and i was like so i went and got a wig oh so, man and no way and i didn't tell him and i wore a wig with these guys for like a year 
And it was the worst, just keeping the wig secret. I don't know why. They probably just would have been cooler if I told us. But, like, one time I'm on the bass player's shoulders. You know, it's late at night in the club, and he's playing bass, and I'm on his shoulder with a wireless mic, and I my wig gets caught on, like, a lamp, oh. you know, one of the lights. And I in time, I'm like, oh, my God. That's a viral sensation right there. Wow. So, I'm surprised you managed that. Wig coming off. So no what do you think about it? So we have this underlying question we've been trying to kill. This is the... We have a friend named Tim. He just asked if you, because he, he values your opinion. Do you think that dinosaurs are real? <laughs> I think they're real. He but has the belief that they're government that's money that's grab. I, I, yeah, I didn't say I know they're real. Right. I they're, it could easily be fake. Yeah, it could be. Look at, I mean, look at what the government does. Look at how they do right? yeah, right. I mean, things. As, 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 as crazy as it is, it, it anything's possible with this government, yeah, right? You know, yeah. There are no, aliens real? There were no Mayans. They never existed. There's no Incas. This is all just fantasy <laughs> made up in textbooks. Yeah. <laughs> lies. Nobody's well, lying to do any of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> How we know. Yeah, but thank you to everyone that is here because I know this is not what we normally do, but everyone mm-hmm. knows my passion for the for right radio. I love Howard. I yeah. love the whole show. It's just, it's amazing to me. And the fact that you talk radio it, is an amazing, people are very passionate about it. If you're a fan of talk radio, you're passionate about it. Right. And that, in podcasts, I see, I know you're, you're doing your show. You're putting them on podcasts everywhere. I see that is where the future is right now. It seems like podcasts are just kill. Look at Joe Rogan. I mean, Jesus. Oh God. my God. That's, I, I, you know, everything I do, if I had done what I did, what I did five years ago, man, I'd be balling. But, you know, is, it's not I, too I, late. I'm As probably. Friend, not I don't know if you know my, Lionel Media, Ly, Michael LeBron. He's a, a talk show host mm-hmm. in New York, and he said, you know, I was talking. He was giving me career advice, and I said, he was like, YouTube, YouTube. I'm making a living on YouTube, Michael. And I was like, but the, I said, there's so much crap out there, so much mm-hmm. garbage. And he said, there's room for more garbage. Yeah, and I, I yeah. live by those words. Yeah, there's yeah. room for more garbage. So you, there's hope for you as well. And I'm, I'm I got to be honest, because I'm one of the very few that feel this way. I don't. Bill Joe Rogan's that great, personally. His interviews carry. His interviews with certain people are amazing. I will say that. Yeah. But he's nothing like, like I say this all the time, and I get heat for it all the time. But nothing's like Howard's interviews, in my opinion, of late. The Howard of late. Um, Howard, I, I mean, that's one of his trademarks. He's an, right. you know, certain people are. Bubba, uh, you know, would uh, some he would charm the people he interviewed. Yeah, you'd have a, you'd have a celebrity in there, and by the end of the show. The Bubba persona has made them think that this is a guy I want to just, you know, leave my because children with. I didn't, and, think, Bubba and, 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 I didn't and, think Bubba know? was good at all at interviewing. Uh, might... Well, so, uh, there's many, I mean, maybe not at interviewing because he would dominate the conversation, <laughs> right. but winning over the person. Right. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I get that. He, uh, Bubba was too regimented in his interview. It wasn't free. He had a, like a set. I felt he was very just. <laughs> It wasn't normal. It was just, he talked totally different, a different voice, a different everything. A whole persona came out in an interview. You know, the main, it was all the reason to ask how big the guy's penis was. Right, right. That's the main question that every, is on everyone's tongue, or maybe just his tongue. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So, Mike, how, how big is your penis? penis? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an that? average guy. <laughs> Happy average guy in all okay. aspects of my life. There's room Thought for more garbage. The, I know, Andy, right? That's the that's the 2020. There's room for more garbage. T-shirt. There's yeah. room for more garbage. That's a good T-shirt. There's room yeah. for more garbage. There's room I like for that. more garbage. I'll buy it if you make it, Mike. <laughs> but, <laughs> Andy I mean, can print I, it. <laughs> but you were saying that you had like a what, like 600 views or something. Like we, we get, we average a little over 600, but we. When we people you get, have drama, so if I do a drama uh, title, people yeah, walk in and, but it, you think of, you just you can go around and see all these channels that with thirteen or fourteen views. It's like how mm-hmm. sad does that have to be after like you know you know five years? You're like oh, I'm up to sixteen. It's like mm. it's the same as here. Yeah. So you, guys are, you guys are good. I mean that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of you know that's a lot of you know if you can find a niche, God, tell me what and give me a niche. Reselling yeah. maybe a great niche, you know, for you. It, well, we do. There's some. I don't know who's watching tonight because, like I said, it's out of our thing. Mm-hmm. But there are some people in in our community that have 160,000, 100 plus thousand subscribers. 400,000, even. 400,000. You know, that's what we all aspire to. Right. But yeah. It's, but it's, a, it's a lot of fucking luck, and you know, yeah. it's a lot of who you know, and how, if you know how to work, you know how to, you know, 
market yourself socially. That's yeah. the name of the game. I'm fucking way past that. <laughs> I've been digging in this for so long into YouTube, the analytics and how it works. And we have some really good people that have, you know, gave us some information and YouTube, if you, it's pre-recorded, it's all about pre-recorded. Like that's, that's where they value. Uh, they value pre-recorded yeah. content. If you can, if you can learn how to do the SEO and put out regular content at the right, you know, the right time of the day, consistently, your channel will grow. You do lives like us all the time. Oh, see, that's, I'm writing that down. So I'm writing that down, Tommy. There's a lot you know, of analytics. We have like a one minute like commentary minute. live on YouTube every day. Like, I need, I need. Pardon me while I give myself more work. No, but <laughs> no, you know your parody bits, right? Yeah. I I would be more than happy to help you in any fashion uh, because I trust me. I've researched this. We have a guy that we talk to and uh that coaches YouTubers for a living and. I don't even use the advice. It doesn't help me, but I love learning about it. I have a passion yeah, for learning, yeah. but I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. But if I had your parodies and your talent and I released them to YouTube done the right way, it would be mm -hmm. monstrous. It would grow. Yeah. Because I, I just don't have that talent at all. I didn't have the knowledge, but not the talent. It's just I, not there. You know, if I had if I'd known that YouTube was what it was and I could have started doing YouTube with what all the parodies I already had at that point, you know, that wasn't that long ago. Right. I'd already had probably 10 years of worth of parodies, you know? Right. Yeah. And, but even but what he I has up, I didn't know. I didn't know. Even what he has up already can be, um, it can be redone. It can be redone. Yeah. yeah. Now, well, I've got, I mean, I, I've got all my own stuff and do I've, like, right I've redone a ton of stuff. It's like a, there's nothing, I can't sell. But I mean, as far uh, as the search engines and all the things that make it tick, right. you can go back and you can boost those videos right. you already have uploaded. Like I can, like I can tell oh, you. Yeah, I, like I need my own site. The people are just raping me blind. I, I, you mm -hmm. know, I've, I've got millions of views on all kinds of sites that I don't own. They just guys <laughs> put up my videos because they're like Bubba fans. They're like, let's put up Mark's video. You know? I and, they, like, and they got a million views and they don't even know i don't know if they monetize it i think they, you know they just put them up don't even look at it again i know, but, you, I know played that's this one, you released it this was the first time i brought you into my show like for people i you released this like that day before we went live the, the corona cabana mm -hmm. and I yeah. played for this show for my stream <laughs> and i was like this guy's just so talented here and ray thank wow. you brother. I I've, done a ton, I've done a ton of corona songs I subbed you, Mike, so I can listen to Vaginas Are Hairy in Heaven. Rock on, brother. <laughs> well, they, see, I took the Zeppelin period. I said, everybody's done a Zeppelin period. It's like, you know, 7-Eleven mm -hmm. or some bullshit like but that. You can sing, dude. Like, you <laughs> literally legit can sing. Like, and the, and the fact of the matter is you can sing in your voice, and then we'll get into that in a minute, <laughs> Ned's voice, which is mind-boggling to me. Um, but, uh, but yeah, what I was going to say is in a split second, I have, we have tools and I'll show, I'll show, I can show them to you tomorrow when you have time or whatever. There's yeah. a tool that you can get for YouTube. And in, and within a second, you can see how many people are searching for the word Bill Clinton or George Bush or yeah. whatever the parody is. And then learn how to create your title and description and parody around that search. And that's how you get found. People can't find it any other way. It's it's just so hard. It's they're so yeah. That's what you gotta know. You gotta know those, those tricks. You know the average guy. You, you know you think I got this great video. It's gonna go viral, and it gets like eight thousand views, and you're like, yeah. And then it's like traps are crabbing. Traps are crabbing. I know that one. That's an old reference to Bubba's uh, work. <laughs> traps are crabbing. Hair of feathering. I know. <laughs> oh, the R. Kelly parodies. Oh my. God. God, uh, uh, one of my favorites. That's 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 one of those ones. The R. Kelly parody is about pedophilia, but it's completely clean. It's completely. That is clean. a question of mine. What are some like say your top five parodies of all time? You think you've done? If you had, I know it was probably a hard thing to do. Uh, uh, like that, that the R. Kelly one is always comes up. The uh, Randy Macho Man rap yeah. outtakes when he was doing a rap yeah. album that always comes up. I like a live like you were frying. Ned, I mean, yeah. it's like I have a parody song that, that, that makes me cry at the end. It's got to be a good song. <laughs> Does it really make you cry for real? I'm a, I'm a sentimental old fool. I just, yeah, some yeah. Cheesy, cheesy songs make me cry. I, I got a, I like a lot of the new songs I got. Uh, I've been doing on, on Twitch. I got a couple of those. I would say there are some of the no nets that I did, like the Taylor Swift, the original yeah. no net, the original uh, our song. And the concept of doing a live parody song, which we weren't really doing. And I was doing, you know, one a week. And it was, re and I was doing, I mean, they were, you know, very popular. They were, they were huge. Yeah, the no net live were amazing. 
on Twitch one time, uh, Ned did a parody song, uh, and it was uh, it had seven thousand seven thousand people watching it. You know, that was the most we ever had. It's like that's you had seven thousand live on Twitch. That's, yeah, it's like that's you're getting close to that level. If you can do that, how did that happen? How did that happen? Like, and they didn't capitalize on. Did you get a host, or did you, or, or he's, on, he's like on the front page on like uh, for an hour, you know. Oh, you got the front page. Yeah, he How knows. Uh, he knows that? somebody or something. Uh, yeah, it's all about who you know and shit. Who, who show were you I mean, on? You know, but, what? You were on Bubba's show at that time. Yeah, yeah. But it's like mm. you know, every Tuesday I was like, I was bringing my A game. I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best shit I'm gonna do. Yeah. We're on the fucking front page. And that wasn't the mentality mentality there, and it, right. blew, it blew my mind. It's like, yeah. what, are, what are you fucking? This is like a, a gold mine. <laughs> you seven thousand people watching is a is a is is enough to pay the whole staff. So uh, close to it. I mean, damn close to it. I'm just saying it's. I mean, I, I'm guessing. Well, and you need to retain those people with, if you can yeah. keep them. Yeah. They was, yeah, they do. They don't know what they're doing. They have no idea what they're doing. Mm -hmm. so, you, can be, you can be as talented as the day is long, but if you don't know how to run a business, right. maybe you won't have a successful career. So, do you think he had jealousy that you were that that you were the talent? Do you think there was a jealousy, an underlying jealousy, that you were the talent? I guess so. I guess I blew that one too. I guess there was there's a always a jealousy. Oh my always. god! There must have been like a, just a huge festering uh, uh, underlying jealousy that I was just. Yeah, you got to Johnny Ra Ra always like wanting to be. Let's do it. Let's go, go get him, boss. And I just didn't real. see it. Like, man. I, I'm not stupid. I know people come here to look at me and watch Tracy. I know that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not dumb. It. I, that's. L listen to you. Oh yeah, and look at you. I'm sorry. Listen to okay. me. <laughs> I got news for you, Tommy. They're turning the volume down. <laughs> but, uh, but why couldn't someone like? Or anyone, because see, I think Howard has a little bit of that in him as well. He doesn't like to share the spotlight, other than mm. you know, it, it seems that way. But I don't know him like you guys do. But it just you know, like, maybe just got like after 20, 23 years, you get shika, shika, you get sick of sharing the spotlight. I maybe. think that might have been it. I just like I, I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. it's like you know, I, because I I had gaps where with my job was a full time UPS driver for twenty four years. That's when I was in your chat a couple weeks ago telling Trace, dude, they're hiring people off the street right now, hundred thousand dollars a year after you make it out of probate, you know, your probation. Yeah, that's a good deal. Or they can't get enough people. It's, and it's, it's like it's delivering know, packages is a good gig. I've done that kind of stuff before. You on, know, delivering online, is, good, is a good gig. Online buying mm -hmm. is less. This is what most that's of our that's, people a good, that's a good gig too. That's what they do. But most of our oh, people. Can you sell? Them. Can you resell a couple of my old Bubba things? I got the domination yeah. CD. I got all that stuff, man. It's I got like, a couple of Wonkas in their plastic wrap. They you just have, need your signature on it, buddy. Yeah, with Madden Manson signature on them. What isn't there one like the K five anthology that goes? I got, I got a couple of those too. Really? God, yeah. I would love to buy one from you because I, right. um, there was not very many of those produced, if I remember right. And uh, no, yeah, it was a limited number. I can't yeah, remember. Like, yeah. Five hundred or something. If yeah, because each one had a number. Yeah, so they were very popular. Remember on a CD box set. In the morning domination. I, I just want to say I got I got uh, poison ivy. I'm not a meth head. These are fake uh -huh. we, My kids had a white trash birthday party last night, and we drank and acted like rednecks. So these are face tattoos and poison ivy. I'm not a meth head. I'm not a meth head. Mm. And uh, yeah, I saw him. I thought, Get I my hands down here. His son is prone to accidents in real life. <laughs> oh, uh, the I thought you might have been on a four wheeler with Trace or something and tumbled. <laughs> No, yeah, I mean, some guys earlier thought thought, thought that I'd been in an accident. Yeah, it, wow. it looks legit, but like they do all kinds of. Uh, it's like stuff. this. This, see, this is you can see. It's like they was at a cross and a planet. Yeah. Wow. And there's a scorpion. They look pretty good. It's, uh, I I forgot to scrub them off. You had to scrub. You know, they don't come off easy. <laughs> no, they're really, they're use really mineral looking. oil or or there's something like that. They got a skull on my neck. A skull. <laughs> I think people really treat me with more respect with these face tats. They yeah, don't. Yeah, I, I think. That's what I, do. I just do this. I do this at them. And they, they cut the back yeah. down. It's the tap. So, yeah. uh, so I want to bring something up here. Uh, like, just so you know that I'm not like bullshitting you <laughs> about this. Cause this is, uh, this is us in 2008. Oh and my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, young guys. Wow. Yeah. Ed this Hardy. All oh the way. shit. <laughs> and, uh, this was a uh, Taj Mahal and uh, uh, Trump Taj Mahal. Yeah. And then, and then uh, I think the next one is Ned. 
this, this that, is looks like, that looks like the shot that's the net head, man. It does. Yep. I swear that's the shot. Yep. It's close. They cut, it? they cut you out of it, Tommy. <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's uh, a good amount. Yeah. So I've been a fan since then, like legit. Uh, awesome. Bullshit. That's awesome. So oh, yeah. Trump Taj Mahal was cool. Yeah, that was a good time, like I said. And I've been, you know, that's a Hardy awesome. fan and a Howard fan as well. Oh, the Hard Rock Vegas. So, man, that's, you know, it's pretty badass to sell out the Hard Rock in Vegas, man. That's like a dream come true. Go to Calgary and play in front of 5,000 people. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, that that's a dream, thing. man. That's a dream for me. It's like, uh, I'm done. So, who photoshopped <laughs> you into that, Tommy? Who photoshopped <laughs> yeah, right. you? Yeah, right. Yeah. But I know I got a lot of pictures like of, of that. But, uh, and what have you ever, because I've heard rumors, but I don't know. Like, I've heard that the real, the Ned, real person is like family of some sort is that true or do you not the say the real that? person yeah. yeah yeah that's what i've always heard and i didn't you know i, I, I never it's just crazy yeah I, I don't know i i can't figure out whether that was the way to go i think it worked out pretty good so i think we did it right but he but i don't know there why had to be, at some point there had to be a transition to away yeah it was that back. was getting hard to keep up for so long and you know it's like we were talking about long festering issues it's like when you are someone and you're also a character and that character is revered mm -hmm. and you, you know, are well respected and, you know, talented, but they don't revere you like they revere that character. And you never get the, uh, you never get the accolades ever. Right. And ever. Some, other, some other guy gets got a line of 200 people while you sit there with 15 and you go, that's me. Yeah. That's like, me getting it. And I don't even get, <laughs> 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 I just get a little bit old. But for my some people that don't know, the guy, the the older gentleman that I showed, Ned Manson, and I guess did you come up with Ned yourself, or was that a? How did that come about? I came up with Ned when we were in Iowa. It was a uh, before Bubba then. Yeah, yeah, it was on Iowa. I made a few calls. I got sued for one of them and had to go to court. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so, so, maybe that may be why we got fired as well. <laughs> it was a legal prank call. <laughs> wow. Well, so, so Manson had this alter ego, Ned, and he is a master at playing both of them live on a show. It's almost like you become this person. You, It's in you. It's there. It's 100% yeah. in you. It, because there's no way you can do that without – it's amazing. Like, if anyone has ever gets to hear it or see it, you've got to watch it. I, and he does a – you do a show as Ned – what, how often do you do the Ned show on Twitter? Every Friday, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. 7.45, actually. 7.45 sings, to 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. He sings live parody songs. Uh, and so much fun. So much fun. I mean, I've got awesome. I've got literally hundreds of songs. I mean, oh. so I still, you know, every week I just bring out a couple ones that I haven't done. So I always have fresh content, and I probably have, you know, several more months of fresh content that has never even been heard live. Right. So that's it's fun. I mean, that's fun. I look forward to it. You know, as I itch my poison ivy, I look forward. You stop itching yeah, it. It's no, bad no, to do no, that. No. Put long sleeve it's shirt, no. linen shirt on. Mike's <laughs> becoming Ned more with <laughs> Amy. Jimmy <laughs> Mesa says. <laughs> but, I mean, look if I, if I, I mean, uh, I'll never stop doing Ned in your head. I enjoy it. It's like yeah, wow. it, it's yeah. amazing Fun. that you. But the fact that it, it became a the whole, it, I don't know whose idea it was to try and hide that you were both people. It seemed like that became so much of the show trying to hide that and defend it. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been easier in the beginning just to be, if you had to do it all over again, would you rather just say, Hey, I'm both of these? I don't know. I really don't know if that would, if it, if the fact that he was thought of as real yeah. made him so made people right. like him more. I don't right. know. That could be the fact that, oh. that we did such a good job of making him real. Oh, you guys did an amazing job because I swear it baffled me forever. Like this can't be real because the <laughs> shit that you guys made up about him or you made up about him is mind blowing. Uh, you know, he's like a perverted, you know, older man that is a, a drug aficionado. He's rich, got buried people in a drunk junkyard somewhere. I think. And like, I mean, there other than pedophilia, there was nothing off limits. Ned would do anything, and I mean, that's why it was such a good character. I was like, I just I set out to make, you know, someone who could do anything. You know, he was in Vietnam. You know, he's on LSD, hitting hand grenades, Funko style at the Viet Cong. It didn't matter. It, yeah. it was completely unbelievable. But Ned won. Ned won. Uh, Ned won uh, the um, Vietnam War single handedly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
now what, uh, Ned, what does Ned think about Manson? You know, I, I'm not like um, if I could uh, be um, what's his name, Phil Hendry. Do you know Phil Hendry? No, he, I don't. He does he does his whole show where he has call-ins, but they're all him. So he's like talking like this on the phone, and then he'll talk back to the guy. You know, and it's insane. I've not, I've, I've never been that good. You know, I can go back and forth, but I can't like have conversations with myself and stuff. No. Like that. That's just, I just too, yeah, it's too much. But in, in the yeah. Ned voice, right? Could you describe Manson in the Ned voice right now? Oh, geez. Oh my God. He's one. This is an exclusive. <laughs> Tommy Bernhardt exclusive. Actually, I can't until I get a sip of water. Okay. Uh, I'm a 50, 50 guy, but can you give me some water, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Donna, that cotton mouth bad. Are you out there, babe? I will. Lawrence. Is that blind Lawrence or is that Lawrence? Rock? That is, that is blind Lawrence. I've, I remember blind Lawrence from the it's show. Good, remember, good guy. He's a good guy. Uh, B Fud. I mean, all the characters, man. You guys had so many characters over the years. It was insane. Uh, that that became a part of the show. Like, you, I mean, Howard did the same sort of thing with the wax pack and. Uh, the, it's amazing. Oh, we had some now, now can you bring him some therapy? calamine? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Amputate my arms. Anything. Yeah, your fans are calling for Ned. Go, Ned, go. Go, Ned. <laughs> Ned, Ned see, I got, see, I closed my eyes so I can uh, immerse myself in the character because for years uh, I had a, a, a visual blockage in front of between me and, uh, and Toby <laughs> up there. And so we could uh, actually pretend I was real. And, uh, and uh, that's a fucking gimmick, man. What do you want, man? What do you want from me, motherfucker? Fuck, it's supposed to be on my, on my spare time here. This is Manchin's deal. He's the real talent behind me. He's always behind me. And he doesn't give reach around. Let out. <laughs> How amazing that's is that? Exclusive. That's a Tommy Bernhardt exclusive. That wow. is amazing. Like, that is so. It, it's so, And it's not. what but People do voices. That is so different than his voice and so. Just yeah. amazing that uh, it blows really my know. mind to this day that oh, 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 oh Salvatore is Salvatore is demanding and oh god. Oh demanding and oh god, Salvatore. Oh god. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean I the easiest catchphrases in the world. Oh god and yes. Yes. That was my catchphrase with yes. Yes. With, so three, with so three, S's, three S's and four unnecessary explanation points. That was my <laughs> and, uh, and Bob Bob Elias has asked for Scotty Farrell for about ten minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> what am I a fucking human jackbox? Did you want to hear this guy didn't bring me on here to do impressions of obscure radio hosts who are fucking killing it on the internet now because COVID took all his gigs away? Scotty Farrell, shake, 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 shake it up. Scotty Farrell, uh, sports radio host, right? Isn't he? Uh, I got a lot of material out of him. Yeah, he used to. Yeah. to do, he was on. It was. It was. It was uh, Howard in the morning, and then it was Bub in the afternoon. <laughs> and it was Scott Farrell at night, and it was a legendary lineup of just crazy, filthy people. And crazy. you got a lot of fodder out of it too. That's the best part. And the and the thing that they they um that they let that get away. Yeah. Whoever did, whoever both sides, or it's like. That lineup was the should have been the latest, greatest lineup in radio history for years to come. See, we got a comment, a nice Nirvana shirt. See, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you were gonna you were gonna yeah. get a Nirvana comment by the it's a repop, Dana. We've already asked yeah. before we started. Kmart. Kmart. Kmart <laughs> said. It held up pretty good though. I've had it Yeah, they years. do the repops are brilliant. Like if you like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, man, they're loaded with mm -hmm. all the retro video game shirts. Yep. Fans. These will be vintage. These will be vintage one day, also. I mean, when you, you got a shirt, how do you tell how old this shirt is? I don't understand. Like, if I sold this to somebody, say, it's real, I got this at a concert in Houston at the Astrodome. I mean, the how do they know? It, it's on the back of the shirt. There's not a hang tag, there's a screen print. So they didn't make uh -huh. the print, You know, yeah, like, I get busted immediately. Yeah. That's why I don't try to cheat anybody. I'm too stupid. It's uh, where's the Manson merch? Oh man, you guys did a lot of t shirts. You got, you got a, then you did Ned t shirts, right? I mean, we look, I mean, we're, you know, we're a small business, me, my wife, and my son, and we're really trying to do a lot. And we are so behind the eight ball. And every, I mean, like our merch, we got to get our website up, we got to get our merch yeah. up. You know, I got to do this, I got, and it's a very slow process because just to do the, to, you know, I, I stream like 20 something hours 
of original content a week. Mm -hmm. right. going, it's just like a brain drain 24-7. Yeah. I got to do this tomorrow, this tomorrow. And it's all shit that slips through the cracks that would make the show bigger and better. It's oh. a fucking catch-22. <laughs> now, is Donna still doing – she had a floral shop, a floral shop. Does she still own that? Yes, she does. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and anyone That's who's awesome. in – Around the Tampa area, you can support the the Waters household by shopping at uh, Tiger Lily Florist, right? It's still it's Tiger, Tiger, Lily, Tiger Lilies dot, dot com. Tiger That's Lilies awesome. dot com. So that's around the Tampa area. They would be more than happy to. Or is it Tiger Lilies Florist dot com, babe? <laughs> Tiger Lilies Florist dot com. I don't want to get the fault in. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? so, yeah, I, I know we do have some Florida people here, uh, but yeah, it's amazing, man. Like the the talent that you possess and. I can't, it's hard to catch on. It's just hard to get discovered on Twitch. Uh, we talk about this. I know many people who talk about it, and it, it's really hard to get that one raid. Like, uh, so we got raided. You know, Jen's Pulver because you guys watch USC back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jen's Pulver raided mm -hmm. us one night. We, oh yeah. And it just, but they, it doesn't convert because here we are talking about fucking eBay and Amazon. Uh, James Pulver just got done watching Backyard Brawls for four hours. Well, to be fair, it was you and Zaheer. I wasn't. I dropped out. I where the boobs <laughs> are anything, so we not really heard anything. Yeah. I really class it up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's not, everything's a crapshoot. You know, you got to be yeah. the right place at the right time. You got, you know, it's got to. It's a crapshoot. You get and just. Keep, I, I mean, it's a cheesy. I always go back to the Nick Saban line, who he said to. Um, uh, what's his, the guy from uh, who's guy in New England? Uh, Bill Belichick. When Bill Belichick was struggling at Cleveland, and Nick Saban, who's probably one of the greatest coaches of all time, you know, even though I hate him, he was like, "Don't focus on the result, focus on the process." There you go. And that's what I. That's like my. That's my mission statement. It's like I just keep doing. I just keep doing it, and I just kept have my eyes ahead, and I'll keep doing it as good as I can do it until it fucking catches on, and I believe. <laughs> yeah. So. Now, do you own the rights or are allowed to use the rights to all the material you made over the years with Bubba? Because he was very, I felt like he was that guy that would hold that over your head forever. Yeah. And then he slacked off. I mean, I, I didn't have a contract hit with him for like 10 years. Really? Yeah. I mean, he, mm -hmm. he, he, he I don't know. I don't know. What is it? You know, he just well, never took a contract. You, you never spoke up. I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm glad you did. Yeah. Yeah. He probably cause thought I'd be trying to get bonuses or something. So he just let it slide. And, you know, me, I'm just like, hey, man. Hey, yeah, got a contract. I'm still getting paid. I'm good. Is it tigerlilyflowers.com? Tigerlilyflorist.com. Is it tigerlilyflowers? Is she <laughs> Can, I don't know. I know. We don't know. I wonder what <laughs> looked it up. Yeah. Maybe the right one or may not She's be so. usually not, right, though. It's, <laughs> flowers. it's tigerlilyflorist.com. Is it? Okay. Oh, lilies as in plural. Tiger lilies. Yeah. It's, hey, it's, right, lilies, babe? Oh, hey, babe. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, well. I'm sorry. I don't, have, I don't have the card in front of me. It's anymore. in Tampa. Find it. I know that's why you're not, but I just like to, you know, if there's people here in Florida and it, it, mm -hmm. you know, every little bit helps, man. Like, you know. It's, hey, man. Yeah, that's why, you know, people like. You know, I, I do people's shows. He's, you know, he's got, you know, 20 or 30 viewers. It's like, I don't care if I can, if you, I'll help you out. You know, you, yeah, it's, uh, maybe I'll get one of your viewers on my stream. You know, it's like, I, I hope I, so. I enjoy, I, I enjoy doing this stuff. I, I did yeah. one deal with these other guys. And um, so I get sit down and the guy's just got this blank stare looking at me. And I sit down and I'm like, you know, okay, maybe the, maybe the video's not working right. You can't right, hear right. me. Like he's just staring at me and he's looking a little sad and everything. I said, wow, this, this, this thing going to be fun. And I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, I was expecting Ned. What? And I was like, oh, it's like, ah, I had no idea. And it's like, I have five minutes till we go on. I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> wow. So you did the show as Ned? Yeah. Oh, I was not man. expecting it at all. And it's like, I really wasn't, you know, it's kind of something you got to get in the mood for. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, right frame of mind. It's like, See, that would never he was so disappointed. He was so disappointed. I was like, I can't, I, that'll be no fun with Mr. You know, disappointed at mm -hmm. me. So we had a good time with Ned, so it worked out. Yeah, I don't, I that's don't, what communication is. I'm a pretty easy going guy. Yeah, Tiger Lily's Floors. There you go, Michelle. Thank you, Tiger Lily's Floors.com. So anyone uh, around the Tampa area, that's, right. that's it. You were, you were right. Either not, or I don't think the spelling's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry, I can't remember how to spell it myself. That's all right. But it's uh, it's amazing. Tiger Lily's florist. Yeah, because I didn't want to. You know, I I was scared to play anything 
because I know it can cause problems with your other old boss. Yeah. And I didn't. Yeah, uh, what you gonna do? I didn't know that you didn't. Gonna sue? He got no money to sue. Yeah, I know. He's, he, he's, he's taking the uh, king of the uh, small AM markets. He's gonna like to be the next man cow. You know, like <laughs> two hundred thousand watt AM scattered throughout the country. He is literally. You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I tried to watch after you. Left. Okay, so back. Let me go back because there is some. What the fuck happened to Twenty Five, bro? Like I love Twenty Five. He was so uh, real. At 25, I was uh, talking about this on, on my on my stream earlier. It's like all those guys kind of screwed me over at one point. It's like I was I was never like, okay, maybe I did a song about you or made funny on the air because yeah. that's our fucking – we're, busting, the show. Balls. That was the we're show. busting balls the whole time. But they all dicked me over. Right. And I'll, I'll, I never did anything but be nice to those guys, invite them to my house and do things with them and, and, and put them over. Right, and, and every one of them just uh, fucking turned their back on me and fucked me in some way or another, except for twenty five cent. Yeah, twenty five cent is a solid person who never fucked anybody that I know of. He, he was always a stand up guy. He didn't say anything bad about Bubba. He didn't say anything bad about me. He never said nothing bad about nothing. He was just, you know, just a good guy. So I, I've always respected him for that. Did he just leave at one? Because I missed that. I, I like I said. I, there would be sometimes for months I didn't get to listen and then I would try and catch up because it's, you know, when you listen for years and years and years, it becomes mm -hmm. like a soap opera. You cannot listen for a oh, few weeks. Right? Yeah. Like, 25, him, him and Bubba, it's just like, you know, you work with somebody so long and they just grew tired of each other. Really? And they graded on each other. Wow. And Bubba would take me aside and say how much that he couldn't stand working with 25. Really? And then I go, you know, 25, you know, I go sit back with 25 and he'd be looking over that motherfucker. And, you know, he, 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 they got to where they didn't like each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, I hope this doesn't piss 25 off. I'm just being, being honest. It was p pretty obvious at the end. They both just didn't like each other right. anymore. And that's completely, un it's completely understandable. Mm -hmm. And one day, it was just one day they were like, they were like, fuck it, man. They both couldn't take it anymore. They were like, fuck it. And 25 left and Bubba like, you know, Bubba was like, take mm -hmm. the day off, man. Get out of here. Yeah. And he never came back. See, he was over it. He was over it. <laughs> That's he, crazy. He, he yeah, never I, came I, back. I felt like 25 seemed like a yes man. Like whatever Bubba wanted, he did. He didn't argue back. I mean, I don't know behind the scenes, of course. I only know what was on the air. I know he did packing and shipping and stuff like that in the beginning. And then he turned into a personality and. Yep. The most amazing thing to me is how game he was for you to write parody songs. Oh, he because was good. He was a talent, talented guy. I'm I, not I, even I, used him, I used him. He he like uh, on serious when you were able to say anything oh. racially, sexually, whatever. He you know he whatever I wrote for him he would say because he knew that I like I'm not a racist. Right. So anything yeah. I did was going for the comedic angle and the shock factor and not racism. He, you know, we did many bits with him saying the N word for right. comedic effect. You can't do right. that now yeah. because everybody's, you know, would riot and, and throw out and cancel. Yeah, you, I don't think you could do some of the songs you did today in the way the world is. Oh, right no. now. I don't think so. No, I don't it was so. amazing how everybody's got hearted it people. was. And it, it was just hilarious with, like the uh, the Deuce Bigelow parody you did with Twenty Five. Oh, that was the name. That was a bit over the top. You couldn't even say the title today. No, you couldn't do that. No, you can't even say the title. Yeah, I, I was like, man, <laughs> I was thinking about that. Uh, All right, on that on that note, Tommy, before you get into me in, in any trouble, uh, I'm gonna have to go. I got, yeah. the, I got the morning show to get ready for, and that hour flew. That hour flew by. Uh, thank you for having me on. I'll come on again sometime if you want. Yeah. What time is that again? Your morning show? Can you tell us again? Eight. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash cluster F show mm -hmm. and it's 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Monday through Thursday. Ned in your head makes an appearance Friday from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then uh, bar show every Friday night, uh, 830 until whenever till we pass out. Yeah. And thank you. So drink at the, at the, uh, the whole bar. I got through like nothing hardly, but it was amazing to speak with you. And hopefully maybe sometime when you're free, we can do it sure. again. Sure, man. I was, I was fun, man. It was nice meeting you, meeting you. Yeah, you. it was amazing. Thank you, everybody. Right. Thank you, Mike. You right, how do I get out? How do I get out of here? <laughs> you gotta stay. Sorry, you can't leave. <laughs> how do I get out of here. There's no button that says out of here. This is how right, we do leave, it. Leave, I got you. Leave, leave studio. Studio. Yeah. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you. And everybody who's watching, and thank, thanks to you guys for having me, man. Take care. Yep, thank you. God, do you need right. to? Do you need to like push your PP down? Now. I can breathe, man. <laughs>
I knew that was going to, because he told me he had an hour, and I knew I, I was know. never going to get to any all of it. But mm -hmm. it, I, what can you do? I still loved every yeah. second of it. It's like amazing to get to yes. actually speak with someone that I spent huh. so much of my life watching, mm -hmm. like yeah, or listening to. So it, it, it's it's wild. Crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So. Hopefully uh, it didn't bore the thrifting world and the reselling world, uh, but he's such a good dude. He's so talented. And mm -hmm. man, if you love comedy, he is the best that there there is. He just the... seems like he'd be fun to hang out with at oh the barbecue. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I would die to hang out with the, his family. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just, you should see the shit they get up to. Um, thank you, Ray. He gave thank you a Ray so much. Sorry for everybody I missed. I, I really wanted to focus because that's a once in a lifetime deal for me. Like you have no idea. Like this is someone who's just so huge in the world of radio <laughs> and stuff that it didn't, uh, uh, I didn't, I was really nervous too. Probably. I know. Did. I love, I love seeing you nervous. Yeah. I'm sorry. I love it. Cause it's not really that often that you're nervous, but I just, I get total pleasure in that. I want you. I know. Yeah. yeah, I know. But yeah, Mike's amazing. He's so amazing. And I wish I could uh, spend more time really explaining him to the world, but it's, I don't think I could ever explain him like and what he did with Ned and how Ned, like mm -hmm. the whole, he, he becomes this person. He is that person. Yeah. And he does well, think, hours as this person without breaking character. And it's, he, he, I don't think he would know that he's not that person at that point. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's so great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I didn't, I got to meet him at Bubba Palooza, Bob. They were so amazed, so nice. What year did you say that was? That was 08 you... when I got oh, to meet them. Okay. Yeah, it was so it was so good. And uh, Smack Tommy, back to reality, he's wetting himself. I know. <laughs> and yeah, thank you to all of the Manson fans that came over from Twitch. I appreciate you guys. That's I know so cool. uh, it's not like watching him, but it's, uh, it's mm -hmm. so cool to meet new people all the time. It is. Uh, I'm really disappointed we didn't have Ned on, though. Like, that guy, that would have... Oh my God! I would have fucking reached through the screen and strangled somebody. That's, that's disrespectful that's to me. Demanding. Like, that's disrespectful to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, uh, mm -hmm. and like I wanted Mike or Manson on because I want to know him. Ned is a you know an extension of him. That mm -hmm. isn't Ned. It's a uh, yeah. Not like a penis extension. It's an extension. <laughs> extension. So David Rubino, everybody. <laughs> It is in the chat that I didn't get to so see. So Zog43 was there also. Oh, really? Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish I would have got to meet uh, some of you guys. I probably wouldn't remember. It was it was a good time. Yeah, I got a lot of pictures from that show. I had to dig them out. I had to go into my Google photos from ages and try and find them. It was wild. Yeah. Packing late tonight? Uh, where's Krillin at? Is he here? Krillin. I mean, Krillin whored himself okay. out. That's all I'm on I'm on the... Show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't stick around. Louie, you got to get a better mic. I can't handle your mic shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't be popping on yeah, if you can't get a mic. Krillin. It yeah, was bad. You, Manson, or, uh, that was amazing. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Bob, um, Tommy's in Delaware, and I'm in Texas, Austin. Yeah. Where are you? Where, where are you at, Bob? Bob. So hi everyone. We didn't say. I'm, I'm so glad you didn't go through the hellos in the beginning because they would have eaten up like I wasn't half. Gonna do it. I yeah, put that's up, awesome. so I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it because I only have Mike for an hour, and I know I'm nowhere near going to get through all of it and you know pull 20 years of fandom out in an hour. What is Tim, that? I've got Mountain Dew Amp. I hadn't tried it before. It's tangy, but I kind of like it. I just, I've never heard of that. That's wild. It's extra caffeine. Like Mountain Dew is already high in caffeine, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Krillin's probably oh, yeah. a Taco Bell right now. Chicken all the way. It's Krillin. I moved to Wisconsin from Florida. Long story okay. short. <laughs> There's a fucking mosquito in here, so if I start jumping around, it's because I'm going to kill this thing. Moved to Wisconsin from Florida. Holy hell, Bob. Wow. That's crazy. Why? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to guess family or a job made you I do hope that. It's worth it, man. If I wouldn't. I would. I'm closer no. to Florida and Delaware, and damn, I. I'm jealous of Florida weather, and I, I would want to mm -hmm. get a Wisconsin from Florida. <laughs> Tracy, that is extra. All right. okay. I don't <laughs> understand this ghetto reference. You're going to have to explain. <laughs> Taco time in a bit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. We'll check you guys out again sometime. Thanks, Zog43. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Yeah, yeah appreciate it. Uh, 
And I yeah, because like, the rest of the show, we're just going to be sitting around talking about Tommy bullshit. Stiffy from that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. It's because of your purple light. There's Yakko. Krillin? Where's Krillin at? How many tacos are you getting, Krillin? 12? 12 tacos, chicken all the way. And then Eight. we're going to make... What? What are we going to make? Make a long story short. That's what we're going to make. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it live! Fuck it! We're Mark. going live! Oh, man. Krillin is amazing. But Krillin is kind of like Ned. To explain Krillin to the world is very hard, too. I was trying to explain him to my real-life friends, Bobby and them, that were... Can't. Oh, God, it's so hard to explain. It has to happen naturally. You have to understand Bobby was amused Krillin time, though. He's like, I, I was amused. He said, from the word turtle on, I was amused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I know. I mean, anyone would be. Dang. Uh, you know, got a turtle What else did he say? Did... I forget the other word. Oh, yeah. Where's the shorts, man? Oh, my God. I love the jorts. Love it. Tommy wants yeah. wingy. <laughs> Tommy want wingy? Wait. Oh, man. I like talk it. Talk about you for the cluster of fans that are still here. Oh, talk about me. I'm terrible at talking about myself. I'm just I was just a huge Howard and Bubba fan until huge. the whole Manson debacle went down. Like Once he left, I knew shit was fucked up. And I'd love to talk more about that with Manson at some point because I didn't get into that. Mm -hmm. I always, like I said, he brought legitimacy to Bubba. Bubba the Love Sponge was, he was like the, next to Howard, he was the biggest shock jock in the country. They were the two biggest mm -hmm. radio shows, as far yep. as I know, in the whole country. And it's in just regular talk radio. There might have been bigger sports shows and stuff. I don't know. They were huge. But, uh, I felt like Bubba always pushed the envelope much mm -hmm. further to try and make his... I felt like he was kind of jealous of Howard in the sense. He might not have been. I don't know. I just felt like he wanted to beat Howard. He wanted to take on Howard. Well, no one could take on Howard. That Howard was just too far gone and too big at that time, I guess. Mm -hmm. And Bubba didn't have the real talent. Manson and the other people that worked for Bubba were the talent. Where right. Howard has the the vision mm -hmm. he don't have for, and yeah did from day one and vision. always does yeah. yeah he has the vision for his show mm -hmm. i don't know if bubba had a vision i feel like manson the show centered around manson and ned more so ned in in some parts that they wouldn't they wouldn't tell people that like i asked you know that ned wasn't mm -hmm. real it was manson mm -hmm. I mean, that's a Googleable thing. Is Manson Ned? Is Ned Manson? Is, Man is Ned real? It's actually in a lawsuit somewhere. They even asked it in a lawsuit just to find out if it was true. Like, I, wow. if you Google it, it's crazy. Just because they, they wanted the answer. And Well, know. and the, the thing is, you are, like, you're more than a fan. Because, you know, I have known many people that have loved all of these shows, you know, like you, but you took it one step further. I mean, you really are a super fan is what I call you. You go to the meetups and you go, which I think some of the, like Bob is probably a super fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they have followings like, you know, mm -hmm. we're followings those guys. Yeah. I mean, you, which is so cool. Yeah, it's it so, yeah. And I'm glad that some of the people that believe in Manson came over from Bubba and mm -hmm. Bubba has his hanger honors that are still there too. that believe in him, which I can't even understand. I tried to watch and listen. Um, uh, I tried to watch and listen after Manson left. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not the same. It's just not no. the same. He now has like just regular people that were behind the scenes on the air. Just to, he needs people to be on the air with him. Mm -hmm. he does he can't do it by himself? He needs Which is fine. I mean, you don't have, but yeah, but you have oh, to no, get credit it. where credits do. Yeah. Trust me, I understand it. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, like when Artie left Howard or Jackie left Howard, or Howard didn't need to fill that seat. You know, he. No, like, Howard could do whatever he yeah. fucking wanted and it was going to work. Yeah. Bubba can't, you know, grow without the talent of Manson. Mm -hmm. It's just not possible. Right. Just, and, but the stuff that they did. Also, I don't know that they can do today. That's the thing. Like, so they pushed much. that envelope so fucking far, mm -hmm. man. Like, 
Yeah, there's oh, no the, way, no way. And the parodies and the stuff, like, oh, it, it's mm. crazy. Artie filled the seat in two ways. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Poor right. Artie, man. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, Gimbal, when do you sleep? Jesus, you never sleep. Poor Gimbal. But yeah, Bob, it wasn't the same. Uh, and I hope that Manson gets that push one day from someone in mm. on Twitch because YouTube's kind of the same way. It, it's hard to grow without a push in the beginning unless mm -hmm. you just keep grinding forever. But most every people... industry is that way, honestly. Every single industry. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, we... well television you kinda have to fuck your way in, but Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, what's up? What's up, Sam, Depp, or Tiger? Sorry, everybody. Hi, Sam. Sunstar, Ray, Jennifer Hayes, Kimball, Michelle, Hi, thank Jennifer. you for the Googling. Uh, <laughs> that was so funny, like three or four tries. Finally got it up there. <laughs> right, yeah. And that's so Manson to me, like, that he didn't know his wife's floor shop. Because uh -huh. uh, he, he, um, I don't think that technology is his forte, and I could be wrong, but it seems like technology is not his forte. He cracks mm -hmm. me up. When I'm watching them live, do stuff live. Uh, Yvette, how are you? Good to see everybody. Marcus, Sumo, Thrift, Javelina, Annie, Joe Deals, how are you? Oh man, who else is in here that I didn't say hi to? Danny, answer well, me. I like, I like how he just keeps going and keeps going. Like you can tell that he's not a quitter. Like he's oh, just no. gonna keep doing it. And that's mm -hmm. what it takes. It just takes persistence. Yeah, 1212 resale, good to see you. It finds a fun so mr josh really <laughs> no opie and anthony no 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 <laughs> opie and anthony were terrible to me i couldn't stand them mm. i didn't like them i didn't like them at all kelly the econ mom hello if you're still here i know we're probably close to your cutout time uh man i'm i'm a cautious is that right cautious is that how you say that 77 good to see you thank you for coming over I don't know. I am struggling with Twitch names, and I know that's on yeah. YouTube, but it oh, looks like a left. Twitch name. <laughs> I don't know how. Mm. Tim is here. What is dinosaur? <laughs> Yak off. I love that Manson and entertain the dinosaur question. I had to ask it, Jump Girl uh -huh. Patty, because I was actually kind of curious because he, him, and I have a lot of very similar beliefs about the government and shiny. Like that, Manson is where I found out of Mister Mister Sadia Bubba. That's the first person that ever taught me the term the shiny object was Manson. I heard that on their show, How the Government, the Shiny Object. Watch that while we're doing this. That's where I first heard that mm -hmm. uh, years and years ago. They've been saying it forever. Oh, man. Oh, Any trolls on the me. Twitch side? I don't think Fanboy. so, David. I said hi to you, Lone Star, when I was going up. Any trolls on the Twitch side? I don't know. I'm not even looking at the chat. Go get him, David. Go get him. I'm not even looking at the chat, to be quite honest. I don't even know where it's at. I'm well, I'm watching it on here. It would come up on here if it was. Mm -hmm. Anthony Cumia? I don't know who that is. Is that from Opie and Anthony? Is that that Anthony? Hmm. I'm not sure. I, I didn't the like last Anthony, Opie and Anthony. Uh, I mean, not to say that I wouldn't now if I, I... I have a different... I mean, after... Howard has got his so... His show is so... Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, just perfect for a radio show mm -hmm. that it's hard for anyone else to compete with me. And that's where, which was odd, because I usually am all in one thing, like an eggs and all in one basket person. But mm -hmm. Bubba's show was very close second at that point for me. Mm -hmm. My man's also there. And that's what is very surprising. That's what made me a fan because I usually can't focus on two different things. I'm like a hyper focused person. Yeah, I, I can mean, tell. Yeah, that's how I am. And huh. I don't really have time because when I go in deep on stuff, man, it's like I'm there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. So I'm tired now. How's everybody? I else? know. It's like you need a nap or a coffee, don't you? My throat is dry. I'm like, I never told you that, that much, man. Like, dang, Tracy, shut up. Start talking. I, I wish um, so much that StreamYard didn't suck balls. Why? Because the, the audio processing, now that you've pointed it out, drives me nuts. It drives me crazy. What do you mean? 
how when you say something, if somebody else is talking, it just chops it all up where you it's very... It off, yeah. It's horrible. So if you watch that back, that's probably what you're going to get. Hi, Drew. Yeah. No, we didn't do too much because you, you know, you didn't. It's generally, I only notice it when, if we have like, say like you and Zaheer, you and Zaheer have this knack for going. <laughs> no, it's all three of it. It's really Zaheer, if you think about it, because he, he just yeah, loves to talk. Star. We're not. I so you know. can't let him talk. But it's I funny. like to talk to him. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. But that's the only time I ever really see it, honestly, is mm -hmm. like Zaheer's on. Because mm -hmm. other than that, you can see that you enjoy it. So you want to talk more. You mm -hmm. kind of sit back most of the other times and let me just ramble on and. Mm -hmm. In a thing here and there. What up, Drew? Look, I'm hustling. So, yeah, that was centered. That that was, I was so I couldn't sleep last night. I was so nervous. It was like it was crazy because just an idol, you know, I idolize yeah. How did that come about? Like, how did you reach out to? Because I don't know. I don't really know. You just said, "Hey, he's him a coming on." Oh my God, he likes dick. That's yeah. awesome. Unfortunately, okay. now you rejected it. But okay, but, uh, is, is that what I sent a picture to? <laughs> you told me to send I it. I just sent a message on Facebook. <laughs> like I just friend requested him on Facebook to his personal account, okay. and he accepted because he knew that we were awesome. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know, he again, I'm sure is bombarded, so it takes him a while to get back. Mm -hmm. And I've been working on this for a long time. You know that. Like I've been working for months. I feel like on this, trying to get it, and. <laughs> Finally, I messaged him again. I'm like, can we do this? And he's like, yes, do it. Just remind me. He's like, schedule it and then remind me. Because I yeah. think that he's, again, he reminds me of myself, scatterbrained, like when it comes to so many things going on at once yeah. that you just forget it. I forget about so much crap, man. It drives I feel me like, what do you say, Donna is her name? I feel like Donna yeah. has to really Donna's keep him on a leash. Yeah. 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 Donna's <laughs> the wife. She's, I met her at La Boba Palooza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She seems like a real doll. Like, mm -hmm. they have a good family. I feel like they have a really tight family, really good vibe. And yeah. I, which is really cool. And that's, like I said to him, like, that's when I knew, like, that he was the, the one that was legit. And mm -hmm. I had to, uh, it made me realize what was not true. And we'll Man, it out. sucks. And that sucks when you realize what you thought you loved what isn't. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, we do this almost every day in some aspect of this space is you realize somebody isn't real or something, right. you know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it just sucks because sometimes you're like, you really wanted that person to be good or honest or true. It sucks. Yeah, I know. But it, it is what it is. That's the world. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but I enjoy like you know, and the thing about it is, is like, it kind of he had to become self-employed, so mm -hmm. it, it's got to resonate with people. You know, you, you quit this job, you become self-employed, and now he's making his own deal. You know, and he's doing his own thing, which is fascinating to watch it. Yeah. And it's hard, man. You know, everyone knows how hard YouTube is, and. Mm -hmm. Especially lives. I mean, to get to command an audience live, a huge audience, is hard. He hard. does a great job. Then. And um, and then you have, you know, your boss who has more of a vocal range than you, who your old boss mm -hmm. backs that, you know, talking trash on you, trying to stop people from going over to you. Uh, I'm sure, you know. Yeah, that's what sucks when the divide happens. You know, yeah. I bet very few of the fans went to both. You know, they had to pick a side. Yeah, I'm sure they probably did. I, I don't know yeah. if there's anyone left in here um, that is a fan or watches the Cluster F show. I'd be curious, does anyone still watch Bubba? I, I'm sure they probably all bailed. I would have. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> but yeah, because I, I can't. I tried. I tried a couple times, like here and there, and it's impossible. It's not the same. No, Sherry, I think we're about as real as it gets for the most part. I mean, I'm sure there's things that we don't let out that we... Well, you have to keep parts of your life private, but that's not lies. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's anything that I haven't... Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing that I've lied about. There's probably things that I haven't been asked that I haven't told or whatever, but... Yeah, we're pretty open. Yeah. And plus, it's pretty boring. Like, I don't have anything fascinating in my life to talk about. I know, right? Ask you know, away. I haven't, I haven't gone anywhere crazy. I haven't, you know, 
never met him. Okay, Bob says that he hasn't listened in over two years, so really, definitely a divide. Yeah. I haven't seen it come through yet on my side. That's all awesome. divided yeah. if they get a Bubba troll. And, ah, <laughs> really? Wow. Interesting. Pretty, yeah. I mean, well, and I I figured that would be the case, but I some people are you know starving for content, and they mm -hmm. probably just listen to listen because it's live you know how it is we, we of are course in our space i mean i catch myself listening to people and i'm like what the fuck am i listening to this for i know <laughs> and then you try to find something else and you go back to what you yeah. didn't even want to watch in the first place i don't know i'm obsessed with a twitch yeah. person that i found i'm Max so obsessed to tell me santa is fake i know right mm. and i didn't Sorry, like Ray. when i found it out either but I, you kind of know it but you just don't want to admit it because Manson is so good at it, man. He be, like I said, I can't do the justice on that mm -hmm. hour did not do justice on the talent that he has by mm -hmm. far. That dude is yeah. so crazy talented. And I'm probably I'm a huge Howard fan, just like I am a Manson fan. If Manson were to be with Howard before Howard became big and grew, they grew mm -hmm. together, yeah. Howard that would, would probably be four times the size. Because all of Howard's parody people and funny phone call people suck balls, in my opinion. They're Howard like, is Howard, and he's yeah. great. But, yeah, I don't really, I don't like any of the, I really don't like any of his parody people whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Have you watched Netflix video high score? No, I haven't, Dan. Mm -mm. Oh, hey, Clayton G. I haven't seen you. Welcome. Uh, Reba. Hi, There's still people listening in our Facebook group, but I can't just have to. Yeah, I loved 25. I met him as well. Um, I, I met them all, of course, and I was mm -hmm. mom and, you know, Ned and it, the Donna and all of them. They, they were just all really cool back then. That was So is that like the Clusterfuck show Facebook group or something? Is that, is that what he's talking about? Um... Or Cluster F? I don't know. That's no fun to say. Sorry. Clusterfuck. I don't know. Um, I'm, do they have a Facebook group? Any of you guys? If they do, um, somebody can link it. Uh, hold on one second. Let me get into my channel here. Yeah, um, I hope you guys all go and sub to at least as YouTube. I know not all of you are Twitchers, but um, if you do, please go find him there and follow him. But he's got stuff here on YouTube. I've put it in the chat numerous times. Yeah, I'll, try I'll put it again. Bubba Army Raw Facebook. Oh, oh, and there's a crossover still there, so there's still man. Oh, there is. Still go there. Oh, uh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Is that now who who runs that? Because like, that must not be a Bubba Run thing. I don't know. So are you guys? You guys still go in there? You like it, or is it you just go there to watch the drama? Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you guys go there and it's a supportive group. Um, you can link it if you want. You can uh, link the Facebook group. Oh, I didn't even know there was one. I had no idea. Cause I only he has to me. be... He, you have already to make him a mod. Okay, cool. Already, already right on. Yeah. I only watch Manson. I don't watch... So I didn't even think to look for a Facebook group or anything. Yeah. We tell people that... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, if you have a Prime... Use it for somebody. Jeez. Yeah, and everyone that has Amazon, if you have a, you get a free Prime if you link your accounts mm -hmm. and use it for somebody on Twitch. Anybody. If, if I get so them, pissed about that too that I've had Prime all these years and didn't know anything about. Mm -hmm. I don't know when they started doing that though, but I've known people mm -hmm. for ages that have had Twitch accounts. I yeah, done except that. Nancy, when I talk to you again, I got to tell you, you got to let your subscribers uh, not watch uh, commercials. <laughs> oh, did, oh. You still got commercials on for subscribers. You actually have to turn that off. Like it's something, mm -hmm. it, but which they don't tell you that. So it's it's crazy. So like well, when I, maybe maybe I'm, it was a decision. I mean, you know, he's trying to get this up and going, and it takes oh yeah, money. it might be a revenue thing, which I don't blame. You know, if mm -hmm. that's the case, because I don't live. As long as your viewers don't mind, it's fine. Yeah. True. True. Oh, Sam. Okay, so it's pretty new. I guess it's when Amazon bought them, so, yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I don't even know. Because um, I just got into it this year. I never really watched Twitch ever. Ever. I went in once, like, two or three years ago, 
because a friend of mine had something going live and I wanted to chat and I couldn't, I, I didn't even know how to get back in when I tried again for this. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny, I, but I'm on I, it all day. It's in the background all day now. Well, they used to do, I used to watch, see Manson when he was still with Bubba had a show right after the Bubba show. And um, I used to watch them on there. I watched Bubba show and then Manson show on Twitch. Then when he left, I stopped. And then Zaheer got me back into it. And mm -hmm. uh, that's how I. It's moved. Zaheer's fault. There. I know. Yeah, Donna Max, I never even heard of it until mm -hmm. I mean. But yeah, then he comes over there and chills. It's nice. It is nice. It's nice. Like it's different content. It's, it's so. For people who love live content, mm -hmm. it's very hard to find on YouTube. YouTube mm -hmm. makes it impossible to find live content. Yeah. You go on Twitch, it's all live. It's just there. You just browse, look at a thumbnail, look whatever's, you know, whatever's on the thumbnail. I discover so much like that guy, the Dave Matthews guy, mm -hmm. the coffee talk, right? So yeah. I'm just scrolling through the live feeds and I see Carter Beaufort playing the drums on this guy's thumbnail at that moment. And I'm like, holy shit, boom. Yeah. So Andy, don't crazy? you ever play that shit again, ever. That shit scared the piss out of me. <laughs> I deleted it. You can't play yeah. it. I'm game. just, I'm completely obsessed with Sweet Anita on Twitch now. She's like, I can't stop watching it. It's crazy. I, I don't know. <laughs> never. Like, Most people are still love in some way. Mm. Oh, okay, Bob. That's cool. Yeah, if you want to, oh, you linked it. Okay, cool. There it is. Thank yeah, I'm, you. I'm Bob. actually going to join it. That's the clusterfuck. Okay, all right. I'm going to actually join that because I'm not a member of that. I just don't go to Facebook much. Like, I try to avoid it, but I always get sucked back in with messages or requests, and then I have, I don't know, rabbit hole for me. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, and the, how long have you guys been following the Bubba Manson? Are you guys Howard fans as well? Because I know there was a divide there, too. People couldn't like both mm -hmm. of those. Like, And I was rare that I could listen to both because they, you know, Bubba didn't like Howard in the beginning. Then they became... Mm -hmm. colleagues when they went to Sirius and that was the best radio in history in my opinion those two on the same channels will be hard to top ever and ever in the history of radio the future of radio I should say um, mm -hmm. and that's when the going was good Howard 101 I just remember the full trucker effects on 3 o'clock every day it was like my day it was my life uh, yeah. I think for you, being a UPS driver had a lot to do with that because you needed these radio shows to keep you going through the day, right? Oh, man. I had a like a DeWalt boombox bungee corded in, above my visor in the truck with battery mm -hmm. packs and a Sirius XM battery pack mm -hmm. to an antenna on the roof of the truck. <laughs> nice. Uh, Oh, that's wow, Clayton, good. that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I used to get cassette tapes from the Power Pig when I was in high school for my friend. He lived down there. It was amazing. Like, he used to do, like, No Panties. What was it? No Panties Thursday. He did. They did some crazy shit back in the day on regular radio. They, yeah. Borderline. You know, it was very, they pushed it all the time. Mm -hmm. Off of Bubba when Spice left. Yeah, I don't even, I didn't even get into the Spice stuff because that's a whole another thing that i don't know the truth beyond like I don't know, all the because everyone knows about i'm sure everyone's heard about the hulk hogan scandal right yeah Did you hear about that it. where but, yeah <laughs> where hulk hogan was banging bubba's wife well he was allowed to right right yeah, yeah. and it was videotaped somehow bubba claims security <laughs> bubba claims it was security i think if i remember right and mm -hmm. i think whatever happened they were best friends they were like best friends inseparable mm -hmm. and then uh, it, it got nasty mm -hmm. allegedly there I, I think spice boys stole the tape out of a moving box or something then tried to sell it yeah i think I it was know. out of a desk or something like that yeah, yeah. i don't know there's so much saga to it yeah. either way hulk hogan made out the best it came out he had a huge cock nice. and that he what did he get like Gawker had to shut down, I think, because of it. I think uh, they had to shut yeah, down. Yeah, I think they shut down. Yeah. Like $141 yeah. million. Dollars. And didn't they divorce the wife and, and Bubba after that or something? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. 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 And yeah. she got her dream of banging Hulk Hogan. So what the fuck? Right. Yeah. 
Damn she tapes. Won, yeah, she won a Never tape month. yourself. Don't tape yourself, people. Man. Yeah, that's crazy. That was a big drama. I don't know the whole, like, ins and outs of it or... Mm-mm. But and I don't know if Manson can even talk about it, so I don't. I didn't want to really. Well, and maybe you don't want to. You know, that's kind of mm-hmm. where I was like a little afraid for him. <laughs> but he gets asked all the time. I'm sure. Well, no, I asked him beforehand before mm-hmm. we went live, and he mm-hmm. said, "I'm honest, open. I don't have anything to." Worry. I said, "I don't want to," because I know Bubba was litigious mm-hmm. and stuff back in the day, or and was always mm-hmm. getting sued. I said, "I don't want to bring you any heat if, for some reason, it ever got hurt by anyone else." Mm-hmm. And he said, "I, I can never be sued because I don't lie." He said, it doesn't matter. It's all truth. He said, whatever I say. He said, ask me whatever you want. It's truth. And I, I respect I that. like him more now yeah. than, I mean, that is so rare to find honest people. It's so mm-hmm. hard that, uh, man, when I find honest people, I hang on tight until they actually lie to me. Because <laughs> it usually <laughs> happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, they did mm-hmm. divorced before the tape came out. Okay. Yeah. I, it's a little foggy to me, all that, because there was so much drama going on. And like I said, I said, I, listen, mm-hmm. I hate to sound like a, just repeating myself but i didn't want to believe anything while manson was mm-hmm. still there like it just made me like oh man as mm-hmm. long as there, like i believe i i wasn't thinking that to myself at the time mm-hmm. it was just a feeling like they were all together and i believed yeah Soon as manson pulled away my mind started thinking like okay yeah. i've been believing this bullshit this whole time and if he's coming away he's tired of it so yep that's it. There's always a side to have, huh? Always, always, always. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Andy. For yeah. And quick. who cares? Like, the whole thing, it was just about the tape that it was a problem. Nobody gives a shit if you like people to bang your wife. Like, that's your own life, and nobody should mm-hmm. judge it. It's just the other shit that went down. And mm-hmm. then I guess he just lied and lied and lied about it. I guess. Yeah, I don't I don't know all of it, but hopefully I didn't. He, it wasn't a bore fest for him, and he'll, maybe he'll come back, and we can pick up where we left off someday. And just isn't it weird how fast an hour can go oh by? I knew, I knew it. I, I, but I also know that he's busy, and he's got to be up at what seven or eight a.m. or something in the yeah. morning. Yeah, I would so, love to see more sides of his life. I can't wait to start watching him and and. See it's fascinating. It's fascinating mm-hmm. to see what. Because it, it's a variety. It's a variety. He mm-hmm. has different characters. His family, you know, they do different things. Um, yeah, it's a variety. It's- okay, so I'm confused, though, on his Twitch. He went live on Twitch before he came here, and that was really cool of him to do that and to mention this show was very cool. But um, it said subscription-only chat. Like, you can watch it, but subscription-only chat. And I'm not a subscriber yet. But it allowed me to type at the end, and I don't know why. Maybe. Oh, maybe I maybe I was gifted a sub because I had to walk away for a minute, so maybe I got gifted a sub and didn't know it. That's possible. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't even get into that, Bob, because I know that's a big thing, man. Like the, and I'm pretty sure it came out that Bubba was guilty, uh, because he. I'm pretty sure he Mm -hmm. uh, he was guilty. Mm-hmm. yeah I bob remember. i know it's free on prime i give my prime to someone else right now yeah <laughs> i got her prime for now bob mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, just it. for now but um but yeah so i don't even know what that crap is i guess because radio the only way they can tell that i guess they have these devices to tell who's that they have people get that tell who the ratings are who's listening and all that yeah i never understood that how you can fake that or yeah. cheat that or whatever. I don't really know. Well, I think that if you know people, they get the devices that they would, he would contact them. And this is, I could be wrong, but this is what I remember. They get these Nielsen devices. You got to mm-hmm. use them while you're listening to the radio or something. And he could pay people to tune in. To oh, kind of like buying views on YouTube yeah. in a way. Okay. Yeah. God, I don't know. Oh, My brain never. Have a way to just know by signal who you're listening yeah. to right after all and they might now it's been yeah. years i don't i don't know mm-hmm. man so <laughs> there you go but there's nothing wrong with that event <laughs> yeah sam i didn't even know you went live sam um it's so weird i swear twitch is even worse than youtube with notifications based and i think they 
base it on your channel size because like my friend Bobby, he will be playing for four or five hours. I'll get a notification that he's just online. I see his notification all the time. And I just finally put it, I was trying to keep Twitch off of my phone because I don't really like to have something on all the time. Like mm -hmm. I feel like I'm addicted at that point, right? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm a little addicted. So I finally put the thing on my phone and it notifies me all the time. Yeah. It always sends an email, but I don't get email notifications because I'm bad with that. <laughs> But I do always get, like, I got, I get your friends, Bobby's, mm -hmm. I get yours, I get everybody's all the time. So maybe you just need to, like, um, click a button on and off or wham it against the wall. Bobby, this is your mother. No. And tacos are going to kill you, Bobby. Chicken all the way is a heart attack all the way, Bobby. And that Diet Coke is going to kill you faster, Bobby. Make it a big one. Make it a big Diet Coke, Bobby, so you can get out of here faster. <laughs> also, Bobby, did you pay your life insurance policy and make me beneficiary, Bobby? Your mother loves you, Bobby. I hope you don't die for at least another year. Bye. <laughs> Poor what happened to your little Go XLR? This? Yes. yes that Bobby, is. this is your mother. I don't want you to die. Stop eating the tacos, Bobby. This is your mother speaking. <laughs> Make a long story short. <laughs> I don't need a long story short, Bobby. I Just stop it. with the chicken all the way bullshit. You're still dying all the way, Bobby. And that aspartame is going to make your veiny nut fall off and fall right out the bottom of your jorts, Bobby. So stop it, Bobby. I love you, mother loves you. Call me, baby. Is that better? Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I was trying to do it without my voice. Veiny nut. Yep. Veiny cock. Veiny nut. Your audio clips. Where'd your friend Bobby go? What's his problem? He probably Bobby? got bored of tears, I'm sure. <laughs> Fucker. I know, we'll watch him play fucking Call of Duty for hours and listen to him cry and whine like a vagina. It cries and whines like a big baby. Like, yeah. you left. I go, I'm just giving you views. You don't appreciate Bobby, that. You have to. Read <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, man. Jesus. Krillin is. Fu he's. he's, he's oh, so Andy, that's funny. That's the real email, too. He made that. For real. I know. I know. Make a long story short. <laughs> that sounds really good, though. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say your name. A, a, a clashes? Is that what, how would you say it? A clashes? 77? Up your asses, Tom. A clashes, 77. <laughs> yes. Thank you for stopping by. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you come back and see good us night. sometime. I'll see you. And yeah. I don't usually comment in Manson's chat because he's so, you don't, get to the chat very often he's one of those guys it's he's like uh he's like um drew and ken from australia mm -hmm. he, he is like every hour he checks oh, he chat. doesn't really look <laughs> at the chat that's cool i get it well because he puts so much energy into what he's doing yeah you know? yeah, 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 yeah 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 come back another night and um maybe we'll have energy and what we like totally drained from tommy just peeing himself constantly yeah i don't know but then when we do, it's boring anyway because we talk about nonsense and have Krillin and a wife beater just staring at tacos. So. Lots of F words. Oh, man. Yep. Not for everyone. You ready to come on for a good nighter, Krillin? Because I'm exhausted now. Mm. <laughs> what did she have on her nipple? A mole? I think that's her nut. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe Andy's huh. ex is a man. How do you know? Hmm. Heavy, heavy <laughs> Leslie's next. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I need to talk to you, Krillin, actually. Yeah, do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did I say your name right? How bad did I butcher your name? <laughs> I know. I don't want to know. Eclacious. I, I, I actually do try to pronounce people right because I've been mispronounced my whole life, and it just... Boo-hoo. I, I know it bugs people sometimes. Like It doesn't bother me anyway. It doesn't bother I me. think it sounds good as Aclacious. Aclacious? Mm -hmm. Aclacious? Yeah. Or it could be like abbreviation for Alaska, right? Oh. Lashes. 
Alaska Bob, lashes. Normally we ramble for hours, but <laughs> five I'm, or six hours. Yeah, I had like having Manson on. I, I've had like an adrenaline dump, honestly. Like I am like. Like and, the only cure I think is Krillin coming on for a bit, and you, then you streaming on Twitch um, yeah. some games. It's weird. Like uh, <laughs> we usually go on for hours and just ramble mm -hmm. nonsense, and mm -hmm. I knew it was going to happen. I just I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, usually hours. It's uh, anywhere from three bad. to eight or nine. It just depends on the day. Because mm -hmm. we have I, um, like forty percent of our viewers are overseas and like. Australia, England, and then also North Mexico, uh, as Canada, as uh, Canada would say, or Krillin would say about Canada. I know. Mexico North. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, bed, Bob. Bob. <laughs> nah, there you go. I, I'm only here because of that. Mm. Because of Tracy, Bob. To be honest, I'm not. I'm not mad about that. We'd we'll love to it's see. Okay, that. you like I, that pussy. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, Sherry Tracy would be good with Lex on her channel. Like, I love Lex. She's I hilarious. She's, but I don't think I can keep up with her. Like, I think I'd have a drain after. Yeah. Like, she is like she is high, strong. Yeah. Uh -huh. she is. But I like it so much. I, I've from the first, I really started watching her. I told you I was like, she's crazy good. Like, just yeah. yeah. There's a lot of good people out there. Mm -hmm. um, I usually I typically sleep and wake up with Tommy Tracy Sunday Monday. <laughs> How's yeah. the baby? I haven't heard anything about the baby lately. Yeah, no, he's down to like. Did you day. send him the link, Thomas? Oh no. <laughs> I hate this new thing where I got to send it through mm. your publicist and shit now. Like it's like. Oh know. really? I haven't gone live in like three weeks. I need to. You got to email need... it to him now. I need to go live. I think I'm going to do... I need to gather my jewelry and test it. I think I'm going to do that live. Like the stuff that might be silver or gold. And, um... Diamond. Yeah. So, Bob, this is our our version of Ned. The guy that comes on the show that's impossible to explain. That's... The guy that's going to come on, he's our Ned. He's impossible to explain. <laughs> So I apologize. His name's Krillin. Never get it in a, for a while. <laughs> You'll learn to love him if you're anything like us. He's yeah. famous now. Yeah. And uh, he, he tells a lot of stories. A lot, a lot of stories. Short ones. Long story short. <laughs> <laughs> Can uh, you play the clip? Which one? Before he comes on. Oh, oh, him? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's the he's man. from New York. He lives on Long Island. He does what we do for a living. He's which is selling people's crap on eBay. And, Forty years old, lives with his parents, and oblivious to the world. Mm -hmm. He isn't ready. Of, he's like a. He kind of reminds me of Bobo, uh, from Howard Stern. That's kind of what he reminds me of. You know, I think it'll be a success one day when. Like, he's not ready for a relationship with a real girl. Um, but the day he finds love, I'm going to be so happy for him. How do you know it's going to be a girl? Oh, shit. Is it a blow-up doll, you think? Maybe? What if love finds him? Huh. I think it already has. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, Krillin is a... Uh, he's, he's a genius in his own mind. He just doesn't know how to... I was talking to Marcus last night. I was like... I said, uh, Krillin is, you can't share the spotlight with Krillin. Like, he's on, he's his own mm. thing. Like, he can't shine with other people, really. Like, no. You know, he didn't really there's, come through. There's very specific ways I can watch lives with people, like, multiple people. And if it's Krillin, it's got to be a low amount of talking and Krillin, like, Krillin, right? Yeah. But yeah, it also takes the right kind of host to talk to him. Like, it's a very special thing if done right right Krillin is different yeah yeah you can't let him go he you like andrew guide. and him i like andrew and him together yeah. too mm -hmm. you gotta guide Krillin, kind of throw him like bits and let him follow him and mm -hmm. then let him he'll go on his tangent i sent the mm -hmm. link to Krillin, by the way if you're listening oh um, yeah he's listening Oops. <laughs> i forget where 1212 resells from florida i thought okay right didn't they say Florida? I was thinking Midwest, but I know we've asked. I'm terrible at remembering. Sorry. I heard Leslie makes a great chicken taco in large. 
So, well, so Bob Krillin will um. Krillin. Oh, Texas. Hit. I'm sorry. I should know that. Duh. Didn't I just sorry. tell you that? You said Florida. No. Oh, I meant Texas. Like <laughs> they said, they were like the, like in between Dallas. Remember we were talking about Dallas last. Yeah, time. yeah, 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 yeah. I know. There's, There's just so many. I don't yeah. know. I remember that. I, I I don't know why I said Florida. God, I mean, I was Manson. Think of Manson. I know. Yeah, he. Yeah, God. Mar and Marcus is like, they're doing great. They're I. They remind mm -hmm. me so much of us when we first started. Like you can see the growing pains, the things that they're going to change. The, I know. He knows that he's smart enough to know it already. Like he, they okay, because there's so much I want to say. I'm like, it's not my show. I shouldn't say a word. No, they already know it. They don't have to say mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Hi, darling. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. Long story short. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. What's Hi, going Colin. on? How are you, Bobby? You know, I'm working hard as usual, breaking my ass. Are you are you I walking don't... around your dungeon of cotton? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have your jorts on? No, I have my uh, New Balance shorts. Can on. I see them? Can I see your pants? Oh. <laughs> 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 picked up some stuff today. I, I picked, you know, for the first time, I picked up. Um, this is a brand I've never found before. After all these years, it just looks like a plain dress shirt. But that's Bijan. what I'm like. One. Is it Bijan? Tom Ford? You never heard of Tom Ford? <gasps> Fucking A. No, I've heard yeah. of Tom Ford. I've never found Tom Ford. Oh. Is it clean? Very clean. That's why I was happy nice. because usually dress shirts I stay mm -hmm. away from, but they had a special at my one of my honey holes. So mm -hmm. they, uh, she's like, yeah, they're uh, th uh, four for ten. So I was like, all right, boom. And then I just happened to find like a Long story short. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. I got this at the flea market. What is it? It's a, it's a decent. Oh, thing. Jay at, what, Peterman. Jay Peterman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, and it's like and the safari the shirt. Has, yeah, that's good. Do you put Seinfeld in your this, title? No. The guy had this jacket here. You see this? This is the old school mm -hmm. LL Bean, the mm -hmm. made in USA, suede, yeah. minty fresh. Mm -hmm. I paid so, up. Uh, Bob, poor but Bob. He's, he's like, oh, fuck. What did I come in now? What, what's I'm going sorry. On? I'm sorry, Bob. This is the normal antics. <laughs> Bob, and, as I was you man, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Bob wants to know how much. <laughs> how much what? I'm thinking maybe the Eddie Bauer. No, L.L. Bean. I mean, L.L. Bean. Mm. L.L. Bean's Bean. cool. They're all cool. Yeah. That's sweet. And it's minty. I, I was going to list it for like 149 and then take offers. Mm -hmm. What year do you think it is? It's made in USA, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, and you could tell, look, you could tell, like, so the tag nice. is, like, minty fresh. I feel like mm -hmm. that's and it's, the late 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe early 90s. Mm -hmm. I loved L.L. Bean for winter coats because they were, like, the only place to get good tall. Like, because I always had to order tall for coats um, mm -hmm. for length of the arms, and they were so good about that. Yeah, yeah Bob, it's, cool. it's interesting that how much clothing can be worth, mm -hmm. worth, uh, and I know it's boring as hell to listen to, probably. Mm -hmm. From like we we get excited. I don't yeah. know. We're weird. Well, I mean, just think like you know, I I would feel like any person mm -hmm. that knew that they could walk into a store and yeah. possibly find that jacket for you know free. Mm -hmm. Oh, he like, shops at Goodwill. We yeah. all shop at Goodwill and Estate yeah. Sales. That's where we find all this stuff. And but yeah, we resell and it, and it on eBay. It on, then they flip it online for mm -hmm. the price. So. Yeah, that's what I was as telling you. Like the as band a job. Shirts. Yeah, that's just like our yeah. full-time jobs, like reselling yeah. stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Not like Dan, to be it. exact, 5'11 and 3 quarters is exact. No, come on, don't give me the bullshit. Mm-hmm. So then just now, as we were talking, I sold another one of those um, those Armani jackets, and the mm-hmm. guy was breaking my the guy. I sold it to one guy. He already returned it because it's a size 58, but it fits small, even though I put in the listing the measurements and all that other shit. It's a female's you know, jacket, don't you think? What? Didn't what? we decide that was a female's jacket, the Armani, with the sheer back panel? Sheer back. No, it's definitely a men's jacket. They, uh, they have it on the website for sales, for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would... So, no, it's what for sure it's a men's jacket. Getting might say otherwise. What? Mm. No, one return. So yeah. make the story short. The guy, oh Manitowoc, I know a Manitowoc. They, they, they make. Does this guy oh, work for the ice machine? Short. Does huh? he make? Is he work for the ice machine company? I don't know. Maybe. He's they your neighbor. Him, well, can... What? Mm-hmm. No, Manitowoc. They're 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 known. They make a special heavy duty ice maker. Restaurants. Mm. Yeah. Are those those flip up lids in the front that you'd reach down in with the big scooper and grab? Yeah, is that one? yeah, uh, yeah. I know them things are big, man. Yeah, the big heavy do Manitowoc is one of the bigger ones, big company. That's cool. Damn. And um, make the story short. <laughs> he works for them. <laughs> does he? Does he? Mexican yeah. mafia. Does he? Well, he yeah. might from Florida. Maybe he's like, <laughs> he's taking their business north. No, Never know. Does Does the guy did he add? Oh, we work for Mexicans. Um, he's just breaking balls. I sold two Kmart shorts, new, same length as Rob's shorts. There you go. Mm. 80s clothing, Bob, is worth a fortune right now. Like it's mm-hmm. a, it's the biggest thing in fashion, probably. All the vintage band T-shirts. Made well, in USA and nineties, nineties is. Be- 90s, I think yeah. it's moving stronger into the nineties now. So mm-hmm. you want to sell your eighties now? Yeah. Um, like I was telling Manson that before we started, like, cause I knew people were going to ask, I, I'm surprised there wasn't more about the Nirvana shirt. Cause that's generally the first thing, uh, Steve, uh, Stephen Avery. I saw that documentary, the mm-hmm. framed, like it, I, I never watched, I saw the first one, how it was all about him being framed and stuff like that. I didn't watch the second one. I don't think the second season, mm-hmm. whatever came out of that, did he get off of that? Or is he still in prison or what? That was crazy. I forget what it was called. It was it. I'll never remember the title now. I, but I saw that. It was about murder. <laughs> I had to cancel my Netflix because they're assholes. Mm-hmm. So I called them. I'm like, we can't log in. We have tried everything, and I can't reset anything. Like nothing's working, right? And they're like, okay, well, give us the credit card number. And I'm like, I don't even have that credit card. Like I get a statement, but I don't physically have the card for some mm-hmm. reason. And they're like, well, we, you know, we can't, we can't change anything unless you give us the numbers. And I go, you can do you can- a reset, forgot password? No. So I go, really, can you cancel it without the full digits of the credit card? She goes, uh-huh. I go, done. Cancel, bitch. <laughs> She's yeah. like, okay. Like, they don't even want to save a customer. I'm like, fuck you. And so, I, you know, and the kids are going, holy shit, mom. I go, we can always, yes, that's it. Like, we can always make a new account, you know, but I was just like, I ain't having this. Do what I need you to do, damn it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get a fire stick and a jailbreak and you can watch me through. Okay, I'll do that. You don't so actually crap. jailbreak the fire stick, though. You actually jailbreak your device, right? Like the fire stick, you don't actually, It's you got to run Cody on your device. And uh, if I'm, I'm pretty sure. You don't actually mm-hmm. jailbreak the device unless they've changed it. The last one I had, you didn't jailbreak the sticks. It was your device. What you got? Are we ordering food? Yeah, no. I, I this is what I had the uh, yesterday for lunch. Oh, What's today. it say on it? What's the name? Listen, it's called Brasa. Portuguese. Yeah, Portuguese. Churrasqueira. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. You sound like um Pete. Pete who? Craigslist Hunter. Shurish Kira? No, I don't that's, know. he's Polish. This is Portuguese. Oh, no, you sound like, um, no, that's Polish too. Never mind. Whatever happened to the guy with the hot wife? Max oh, Profits? Oh, that Russian guy? Yeah, what Max happened to Profits? him? I haven't seen him in forever. I see her, like, post a bikini pic online every once in a while. <laughs> uh huh. I saw him the other day. 
that's I don't all see I them do. anymore. No, they must have. They got burnt out quick. Well, probably I, just making money. Really? I, mean, I, break the stick? I thought you just put Cody on like your device. That's cool. I didn't know that. I love that kind of shit. I love jailbreaking and stuff. I, cool. I used to like I spend so much time on that. Is, Apple's gotten much better now at stopping the jailbreaks. They've gotten way better. It's so hard to jailbreak anything new now. Hmm. Um, crashed like great. Yeah. You speak. Have anyone ever told you, you speak better other languages than English? Mm-hmm. Oh, you got a guy? You got a guy. <laughs> Make a long story <laughs> short. Mob Dro and, and Teet. Teet okay. sounds like something you yank on, like Teet's. Like, yeah, like, grab it hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the out. point? Does it What's work the on point? Apple, Bob, I wonder. What, what? happened to your boy? Your, Krillin, what happened to your boy band hair, man? You're looking like it's been 10 years since your last hit. <laughs> I, I haven't had a haircut since you know when. Me neither. Me it sucks. Let's go get a haircut together. Isn't that weird? I haven't, you know, it's just like I've never in my life ever gone, what, how many months? Six months? Yeah. I think I've gone nine months because I'd already overdone it before COVID hit. Like nine months. That's like being pregnant without a haircut. That's the point of jailbreak. Well, from, you could run a lot of apps that Apple wouldn't allow. I'm going to pee. Apple's really strict on things. Like, you know, they wouldn't allow it. I mean, there's really no point with. Um, Android, I don't think, because you can pretty much sideload anything, right? I'm pretty sure. But Apple's really bad about shit that they get rid of a lot of shit off their stores a lot. November for me. Oh, since your last haircut, Annie? Wow. What up, lobster? Thrifty, thrifty, let thrifty lobster. My lady cut my hair, and I ended up shaving my head after. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Tim, sorry about ruining the dinosaur thing, man. People think dinosaurs are, are real. Except for Tim. Everyone. So, Bob, being a super fan, I can tell you're a super fan. Or a lot of you guys were to come over here and watch this crap. Uh, what do you think were Manson's best parodies over the years? Some of them wouldn't, we couldn't play today because we'd all end up with no viewers and fired and blacklisted probably. What's Trassy? Trassy. Hmm. 2005, Dave? Wow. Jeez. Wait, what's 2005? Oh, a haircut? A haircut, yeah. Yeah, because he's got, like, dreadlocks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that takes dreadlocks. decades to grow. You know how long it takes to grow? That's not, like, one day. The it's R. not like Zaheer's beard. Like right? Wasn't that Ignition remix where the... Happy Meal, the one about the Happy Meal and shit. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Right? Wasn't that it? The Molly song by Ned. Oh, man. And then he did the Missy Elliott. Remember, Get Your Sheep On? Why? What is that, Krillin? Looks cool. Vintage board game, Alfred Hitchcock. I heard my name. What do you want? No, uh, Matt just picked up some new merch. That was that? Jolly Green Giant? I mean, uh, uh-huh. The broccoli guy, or whatever the fuck that is. Oh, yeah, like baby Brock or something. <laughs> the broccoli guy. I Why are we out here in the thrift store, Krillin? What are you doing? Shopping. No, this is the antique booth. Okay, well, whatever it is. Where I texted at? Heavy Leslie today. Yeah, she told yesterday. me. Yeah, I, I, I saw her... Um, what day? Saw her... Uh, hold on, I, I, I'll be right back. I gotta go accept an offer. Okay. I just see- okay, let's guess. I'm gonna what? guess twenty nine ninety nine is what he's gonna take. Man, there he is. What are you hey, doing? Anthony. He's on your show, man. Someone just I kissed told me a that. boy. Is Bob is saying he kissed a boy, or is he talking about? Someone you just kissed- told me that the other day because I only get to catch every so like one or two a week, and mm-hmm. I can't believe that. I thought you guys were loving it. You're having fun on that show. It seemed like. That's a lot of commitment. Five days a week in the morning time when you, you yeah, know. it is. I know. I, I mean, know. that's when I'm sleeping, but most people are productive at that hour. I don't know. <laughs> okay, do, just man. checking, Bob. I do. <laughs> what is it? No, there's oh, nothing wrong with yeah. it. There's nothing wrong with it, Bob. I just was asking. Yeah, because Ned Ned plays a, um, 
and his character is, uh, you know, very open with his sexuality. Mm-hmm. Very open. Uh, okay, twenty nine ninety nine. What for what? Plus shipping. What what offer did you take? Oh, no, look I didn't at that take shirt. That. Wait, yeah, that, wait, what is that? Hold on. Hold your okay. panties on. Okay, I don't have any on. Oh, wait, I do. Never mind. Ooh, trash. I couldn't remember. So, um... So, I picked it. I know you like polo, so... I have, I've never seen this shirt before. That's nice. Hold on, hold on. Is that... Hold on. Um, uh, is that a polo shirt? It's got a prison number in it, look. Yeah. Yeah. Or a bingo number. One or the other. Okay. <laughs> F68... Is that a snag? Did you sell no, that? No, so but I, I didn't no, I counted the guy. I, I the guy um I have it I have it listed for forty, thirty nine ninety five. Mm-hmm. And uh he gave me an offer at twenty five, so I says no. I uh I counted at thirty four. But thirty four yeah. Like thirty four. Thirty four? Plus shipping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always, always shipping. Always. Why, don't, why don't you tell me before you list all this polo shit, dude? I, you only have to list it. I'll just buy if it's something that I want. I'll buy. He's saving you. you. He's saving you. What size is it? Medium. Oh. No, I thought it was an XL. What? I could have sworn it just said XL on it when you were looking at Did it. Did you no. put fresh prints oh, in the title? It's a medium now. What, mm-hmm. what kind of print? I put striped. I put candy striped. No, fresh prints. Oh, that's what this that's what it is? That's this that's the style? I, I should have. Uh, I don't know. I would. Just No, because I it. know I should have asked I should have called the other Matt, you know, Luck Swap. He know he's a Matt. he knows all about mm-hmm. polo, so he would be like like I didn't know what the the remember with the cookie patch? You know what that is? The cookie uh-huh. patch. I looked it up that night, yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. know anything about it. Yeah, he's like, Oh, because I had the jacket. He's like, Oh, that's the cookie patch jacket. So, See this shit. It's like, how are you supposed to know that stuff without YouTube? I wouldn't know anything. Yeah, yeah. This guy, he knows all. I mean, this guy. Ooh, really Michelle's the- got it. It looks like lifesaver packet. Yeah, or no, that fruit or, or fruit stripe gum. Fruit stripe gum. I saw some of that today. I was like, oh. Frisky, oh. Drink, Is that coming through the speed? Yes. Uh. I'll feel my gray beard stubble. Katy Perry. Can't resist me. I kissed a boy and I liked it. The taste of his juicy steel bit. I kissed a boy just to try it. Get caught, I will deny it. It felt so wrong, it felt so right. Don't mean my loafers are light. I don't mean my loafers are light. <laughs> His words are crazy. He's so good. Oh, God. Ray, I think he's cooler than that. I think you're to put entanglement in the title. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. They were so, they pushed that edge. What do you think? So what do you guys think? He's got he's got he's got to make me a counter offer, or he's got to decline, or accept no, he's going to decline. I don't know about you guys, but moving to manage payment, like I wasn't even making that great of sales before, but I've been listing every day, and my sales suck, and mm. I don't understand. I think what... that you worry so much and spend so much time worrying about offers that you, I can't figure it out. Who, Bobby? Yeah, I mean, I don't even think about it. After I make my, I know what I want out of something. I just send the counter and and move on. But you do keep thinking about it too long. You should let it go. Oh, the smoker song, Bob. Okay. I started to freak. Ned Molly song. Booty shorts and a cowboy hat gave me some Xanax. I canceled out the mushrooms, but now the ecstasy's kicking in. Does anyone have a moist towelette? I think I just shit my pants. That black dude over there in the tight skirt is checking me out. She looks like she's got about a 10 inch penis. Is it okay if she just gives me a hand job? Do you want to go to the bathroom and do some poppers? But first, let me do some Molly. <laughs> I can just see him dancing to that too. Like, I would have loved That'd be good. Song. Mm. There goes your dollar 13. Ah, sorry. No, because no, they don't. That, no one has royalty rights to that stuff. That's why I asked him. No one owns it because there was no contract. That's why I asked him because he can play. That's why how he can play all this stuff. So that's really cool. 
Oh, really? 12, 12? Okay. Because I've heard it from a couple people that when they move to managed payments, there's, but I didn't hear it from everybody. Some people are killing it. And it's probably just that I'm listing in the same two categories over and over. I know. That oh, would be awesome, right? So let me ask you a question, Tracy. Mm -hmm. So, um, did, did you sell? Did you sell any more jewelry? You spent, you been, or just a little bit, not much. Yeah, I sell a few pieces every day or so. Right. Well, that's, oh, right. every day. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So yeah, she told me she's gonna wait till the Jewish holidays because uh, she's um, jam what? What? When's the night? I don't know the Jewish holidays. Yakov, uh, are you still here? You know, where's Yakov? I don't know. Like you can't just say she's gonna wait till after the Jewish holidays. Say no, wait, she's gonna no, wait. Till... No, she's not Jewish. No, no, she's not Jewish. But the Jewish holidays is the uh, that's when people are off on the Jewish holidays. So, so what she's gonna do is then because I talked to her today. I talked. Hi, you Bob. know, I talked to. Her. I talked. Thank to, you, Bob. To Hold on, Krillin. Later. We're saying goodbye to our friend Bob. Bob, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Bye. Hang on. Thank I'm Bob. Tracy's channel is uniquely me if you're on YouTube. So if you want to watch her live uh, with jewelry, uh, I don't. I don't suggest it. I don't do I don't do much over there. You can just put it on mute like I do, Bob, and watch. It's no big deal. You don't care. Tommy, you just play games and type in the chat every two, <laughs> I don't know, 20, uh, 30 minutes. Anthony, yeah. did you ever answer me? Or did I miss it? I, I guess or maybe he just didn't want to say. I didn't. I, I don't know, I missed you guys it. Stop doing your daily show, man. What the fuck? Hmm. I had two That's packs weird. of Preservation Eye vitamins and sold all four this weekend. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Bob. Here, here you Bob. Hey, here and you go. I don't care. Watch is a watch. That's it. I, I don't do much. I don't plan on doing much, but I might do something this week. It's mm. usually just a late night hangout for the hell. I Bob doesn't want to watch Krillin in his fanny pack. I know. He's crazy. <laughs> He's going to need a drive through. Where are we going to get food? Are we going to drive through food? Taco Hell Bell yeah. time. Yeah. Where, where are we going? Well, first I got to turn the lights off. Mm -hmm. Taking me forever to lock up because I don't even know which light that is. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that, Anthony. I just wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, it seemed like you guys were having a good time. Mm -hmm. Anthony? Buying, buying new PCs and stuff and. But yeah, a daily we a daily, especially a morning show like Tracy said, a daily morning show is probably a hard because I feel like we tried it and we sucked. At, like it was just too much yeah, to get up and show up. Anything else afterwards? Mm -mm. Like if I did an hour, hour because they go for an hour to two hours depending, mm -hmm. and then if after that I wouldn't want to do anything. I would not want to. It's hard to I'd go uh, back to bed. I mean, yeah, like, okay. And the, well, I mean, for, I feel like for men, it's easier because you guys can get ready in five minutes. Women can't. You know, I had to get up early and, mm -hmm. oh, no. Yeah, I wouldn't get shit done. I know that for a fact. Like, I would, like, just like tonight, like, after having Manson on, I was done. I was spent. I, I already feel my head is gone. Mm -hmm. That was in the morning. And then I needed to list. I'm not doing it. It ain't happening. And that's not mm -hmm. good for business. Nope. You got to do what makes money first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I say yeah. that, and yet here I am. But <laughs> it's like, I don't know, sometimes it's twice a week. It makes money here because, you know, where's, where's that water bottle I had? Son it's, of a, a bitch. it's a little bit different in nighttime when the day's over, I think. I don't know, because I've been listing at night. Like, that's oh, my listing. Um, yeah. You're messing your own stuff. Well, while you're streaming on Twitch, I've been listing. My hours of entertainment of uh, nonsense. You're going to have to keep it going because now I expect it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised that people can actually watch that stuff. Like, cause, uh, I don't. I just listen and make fun of you. Oh, God. It's so easy. Yeah. To you're going to have to put some more free songs on there, though, because I'm running out of bits and I'm not buying anymore because of my Ray sales. Ray's making suck. it rain over there. I know. Mm. Are you okay? Was that your yeah, hernia? You do, Dave. You gotta yeah, enjoy yeah, my hernia me. Okay, so did we figure out when the Jewish holidays are over? I don't even know when they begin, let alone be over. So, no, we didn't. Mm. I don't know. I think Yakov went to bed. He's not. 
he is going to definitely die from all the fast food. His mother already called in and said so. I know. It's going to be real shitty when he goes. <laughs> I only work 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. I know, and Bray, I don't know how he does it. He'll be, shit, there's some mornings, the other morning I stayed up, it was like 5 a.m. and he's still there. I'm like, he's, you know, I'm like, holy mm -mm. God. Oh, I've I, been, I've I, really I, been trying so hard to get myself in bed, but like I try for one, but that doesn't always happen, but I have to be by two, have to be. I know. I've got to mm -hmm. find friends overseas that like in different countries that play. That don't want to make money in their business. Yeah, so they can yeah, play. or they have no life, or like young kids that don't have a life, and I can befriend yeah. them and play. Because all my friends like get all they go to bed early, so it's yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, Yakov is. Uh, he's. I'm sure he's asleep. Yeah, but you actually work, Drew. <laughs> you have a job. <laughs> I gave up on things. You, you actually work. We don't actually work. I've been slack. actually. I did list like. <sighs> 10 or 15 things yesterday for the first time in like ages. I listed those little on shoes and Did you do the air maze yet? No. Uh -uh. I did like easy stuff. Like really easy stuff. The scarves, I mean, how much easy Okay, but do I me a favor. Have pictures of them? Okay. I got to look all that shit up. It's ties and scarves. I've never taken pictures of the tires for. Okay, it's pretty simple and I'll help you, but when you steam it, don't touch the scarf with the steamer. I'm not going to steam it. Yes, you are. County wrinkle release that bitch and hang it up. Oh God, you're terrible. Send it to me, Jesus. Do they get? Um, I what month? I don't I even for. know what month we're in, you guys. August. Are we? August? There is no. Okay, I'm sorry. We're waiting till September twentieth. I think so. Are you fucking out of your mind? She has over a thousand pieces of jewelry and she didn't want to sell. She told me she's talking to me she this week. She does want to sell it. She does want to sell it. Well, I'm not waiting till the fucking 20th. What are you talking about? You just said she didn't want to do anything till the after the Jewish holidays. It's not That's that the whole does, month. It's not that she doesn't want to do anything. She said just said to me, she's like, oh, let me see about if I can do it during the Jewish holidays because she's so backed up right now. You don't remember, oh. remember the last time it took. Remember the last time it took uh, weeks. I don't. I don't know why. It's not like. I mean, she literally <laughs> threw it in a ziploc, threw it in a box, and shipped it. Like yeah, but it's she's not. Go through it. I'm sh listen. I'm sure. Even that other one that she had like a gold. Look, there's gonna be scores in there, like gold rings or whatever. But you know, she still has to. She still has to peek through it. She can't just fucking send the, the suitcase. You know what I'm Why saying? Not? If she's going through it, I don't want it. What do you mean? She's, what are you talking about? It's supposed to be unsorted, I thought. Yeah. Now we're getting to the truth behind the what matter. Do you mean? Yeah, I'll talk. Yeah. I'll I'll leave you at it and I'll talk to her. If she's, I mean, I get the thought of needing to peek through it. I can deal with that as long as there's yeah. good stuff in it. Of course. Mm -hmm. that Look, she never told you. But when she told you on the phone, but I was there with you. All I I didn't ask if she went through. I said, has it been out for sale at an estate sale? Has anybody else gone through it? That's all I asked. I don't care if she goes through it. If she she told me exactly what was in it, you know the brands, and she was right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you tell her, is it going to be like what you had before? She could just send you a pic. It's not. That's, I know. You know. Mm -hmm. So it, that's I'm thinking. They have Leslie's starting to skim on the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, happy Leslie. Mm -hmm. Right, Ray says, "Stop yelling at me, fucker." Who's yelling at you? Ain't yelling at you? Is you yelling he, at me? He, like, I'm gonna tell you one thing. He got a little defensive over Heavy Leslie. I'm thinking things have <laughs> taken a little turn lately over there on the heavy yeah. side, huh? I know, I know. She questioned me when I was talking to her. She's like, "Do you and Rob have a thing going?" I go, "No, but no, you... she didn't say that. She didn't say that. She... <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> she sounded interested in you, and I was. I assured her we had nothing going on other than friendship. Okay." Uh -oh, she has that died. boyfriend. She has that uh -oh. boyfriend. Uh oh. Uh oh. The jock. Uh -oh. Who died? I think Streamyard died for a second. Didn't. Hmm. We're back. Where we got? I bet we weren't even gone, huh? I don't know. Um, it's still stream. It's still spinning on Twitch. Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? Dave? Yeah, it looks oh, fine. It looks fine. Hmm. 
There ain't no way he got some, Ray. He'd have lost 40 pounds if he did, as long as that stuff's been pent up. He'd have blowed her spine right out. Why don't you just, like, sweep your arms around all her living room where all the jewelry is, just gather it all in boxes, and I'll send you money beforehand, and you just go, here, here's cash, bye, that, and you it, ship I'm, it I'm to me. I'm, what? Nice. I'm going to awesome. steal it from her? No, just go. I'm taking it. This is like, here. no, you're buying it from her, but you're just demanding. Just be a little. And she's going to be so fucking turned on by that. She's going to strip you down and do some things. Ugh, that's so fucking gross. <laughs> what happened? Heavy Leslie's going to do things to us, Winky. Don't, don't even talk like that. Kind of, now I, I want to eat this Taco Bell. And now my. Don't you want to go get a hot dog now, Bobby? <laughs> Put oh, your well, meat between the buns. Forget about it. But make the story short. Uh, yeah, so I'll... T I'll make a long look, story short. I talk to her every few days because she's got a lot of sales going on. She's super busy. And uh, what was it? She's got... Um, what was it saying? She's got... Uh, you, you know... She had four appointments today. Make a long story short. And one, do you guys do, do, you, do you guys know army <laughs> stuff? Who? Army, army stuff. Oh, the guy just counted. What do you think he countered at? Or he declared? What do you think he did? This fucking guy. Oh, what your your polo thing? Yeah, I got an update. What do you what do you think he did? Counter attack or? I think he. I think he offered you less than he did before. No, he can't. I think he declined. All right, we're gonna see when I get to the drive-through. I'm gonna jump out. Oh no! But you want to hear me order? I understand. Yeah. You're right, going big for thing. this. Yes, that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. All right, I got you. Let's do it loud and proud. So heavy, Leslie. She's so busy. I have to massage her. I can't, you know, I can't get rough with Heavy Leslie, you know? What did you, what did you just say? <laughs> I have to be nice with her. Massage her. No, you said massage, and you just got pissy with me for saying she was going to do well, things to you. But did now you say you're you massage. can't get what? You can't get what with her? Figuratively, I'm talking about. Not literally, figuratively. Like, you know. Figuratively what? Talk nice to her. I say, Leslie, how you doing? What you got? Blah, blah, blah. Because she always lets me preview. That's what I love. Talk like nice to her. I said, Leslie, how you doing? What you got? Blah, blah, blah. Because she always talk nice to her. I said, Leslie, how you doing? What you got? Blah, blah, blah. Because she <laughs> always... <laughs> yeah, she, she sent me these pictures of this, mil I don't know, mili <laughs> military clothing. And it was funny because, you know who was, like, modeling it in the picture? It was Gay John. And it was hilarious. <laughs> who was modeling it? Do you have pictures? Yeah, hold on. I do. Hold on. I'll, I'll send you a picture. I'll, I'll send it to Tracy. Who was modeling that? Gay John. Gay John. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got to turn this down. Long story short. Gay John. <laughs> He's about ready to order. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me the number two. All, two. all chicken. Supreme, with the uh, diet coke, the big one. Uh, yes. Also, uh, a Dorito Loco Taco Supreme, chicken. Yeah, yeah, chicken, and then two nachos with cheese. And a side of guacamole. All righty. No, nah, no sauce. Thank you. Yeah, give me the number two. All, all chicken. Supreme, with the uh, diet coke, the big one. Uh, yes. Also, uh, a Dorito Loco Taco Supreme. Chicken, yeah, yeah, chicken, and then two nachos with cheese, and a side of guacamole. All right. Make a long story yeah. short. Give me the number two. 
all, all check. <laughs> hey, John. Supreme. With the uh, guys. You have to rest. Hey, John. Hang on. Uh, yes. Also, uh, a Dorito Loco Taco Supreme. Long story short. Chicken. Yeah, yeah, chicken. And then gay nachos with cheese. And a side of guacamole. All righty. Thank you. You forgot the cinnamon twist, okay? Oh, God. Rob. You're the best. um, What's in a number two? What's in a number two? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it make me cry. Give me the number two. Here's what's in it. All, all chicken. <laughs> Supreme. With the uh, Diet Coke, the big one. Uh, Can you yes. imagine calling Domino's also, and playing this order uh, for them? Also, like? a Dorito <laughs> Loco Taco Supreme. Chicken. Yeah, yeah, chicken. And then two nachos with cheese. And a side of guacamole. All right? Make a long story short. No sauce. Gay John. <laughs> oh, Got it? Shit. Thank you. Thank you very that much. That was fast. They are the fastest Taco Bell I've ever, ever seen. Uh, unbelievable. Ever. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, but what's in a number two? You normally get a number six. I'm. You threw me off. What's in a number two, Krillin? Jesus Christ. The taco meal, the, the, the three tacos. Okay, so you got four tacos, two nachos. I could probably eat that. <laughs> I don't know how big are their nachos. Like, taco I don't meal. even know. Three tacos. Well, and a Doritos taco look. I'll be so right back. Taco meal, the, the, the three tacos. I'll be right back. <laughs> what is his? He's freaking me out tonight. Actually, I think it's. More your your go You thought that was him. You thought that was I him. I did. You were to him. <laughs> I know. You're freaking me out. Krillin, what's Fuck. in a number two? The taco meal. The, the, the three tacos. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Oh god. Oh. Whatever. Oh my god. You responded to it. <laughs> I did. It's sound because it's in my ear. It's so fucking loud. And he was looking at it at the screen. I'm like, okay. yeah, but he had like shit hanging out of his mouth. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look that close. I don't know. Oh man. So funny. Are nachos really just chips and cheese? I don't know. Nachos is just cheese, chips and cheese, mm -hmm. right? They're small. Yeah, I think so. No beans. Who's that guy that works with Heavy Leslie, though? Gay John. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we can totally have a conversation with him when he's gone. Uh, I would love to have a whole soundboard of Krillin. Literally, mm -hmm. a whole soundboard. I agree. Oh, it would be so much fun. This is crazy. The taco meal. The, the, the three tacos. <laughs> Chicken mm. all the way. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not it. really very filling, Dave, is it? It's really not. What? Talk about. It can't be very filling. It's not even real meat. You just shit your pants, right? Just let it rip. Mm. Mm. Why is he sending me pictures? Who, Krillin? Holy shit. He sent a picture of his wiener. Oh, poor guy. I'm just kidding. Did he say this in the beginning of it? Make a long <laughs> story short. Then he sent you a wiener pic? Mm-hmm. No, it's Gay John. Who? Gay John. <laughs> That's so perfect. Like, <laughs> it's Gay John. <laughs> mm. You see the pictures? Yeah. What happened to your uh what happened Did to your 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 counter offer? It was something else. It wasn't it wasn't that guy. Did you send the pictures to Tommy? Uh, can, can you say, say hey, can can you say trassy for me like you do? Trassy. Thank you. Trassy. You say trassy's a lovely lass. Hold on, hold Trass on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it now. Trass is a lovely lass. Can you say top of the morning to you, David? <laughs> top of the morning to you, David. What else does he say? Irish shit. 
<laughs> no, what else does he say? Um, Trash is a lovely loss. He's his Zahir's. Oh, oh, can you can you say Zahir clip? Hold on. Yeah. Now. Hi guys, Zahir here. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Uh, now do the shoe tube one. Ready? Hi, hold guys. on. Ready? One. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? One, two, three. Hi guys, Zahir here. That was terrible. Again. Hold on. Shoe tube. I'm doing this YouTube, my schedule. Do do the normal one you always do. Okay. Let Hold me know on. You're ready? ready? One, two, three. Hi guys, Zahir here, doing my YouTube schedule. No, can you speak Spanish? Okay, how about Consuela? No, no, no. Yes, Blackberry Thistle. You're just busting my balls. Go okay, ready? One, Two, oh, come on, three. I, I gotta pay attention to the road. I'm eating nachos. Yeah, road. You can put the nachos down and speak to us, buddy. Seeing they breaking my balls. One, two, three. Ah, uh, hold on, you missed it. You missed a cue. One, two, three. He just shoved a chip in I his mouth. I said, "When he said you busted my balls." Yeah. One, two. You busted my balls. Not yet. One, <laughs> two. Three. You busted my balls. <laughs> you busted my balls. Hi guys, Zahir here, doing my shoot Top of the morning to schedule. Trash is a lovely lass. The taco meal, the, the, the three tacos. <laughs> Trash, I, I don't know why you're fascinated with my voice, but. It was something else. It wasn't. It wasn't that. Guy. Nightmares. This is fucking giving me anxiety, <laughs> man. <laughs> like I can't. Make a long story short. Gay John. <laughs> you busted my balls. <laughs> Hi guys, Zahir here, doing my YouTube schedule. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah i'm creating a soundboard Elton. i'm trying oh it's so fun did you drip cheese on your shirt yet no i didn't you think i'm driving and dipping uh-huh i don't know how they serve nachos i mean if no, no, they, they have cheese but i can't i'm not that good where i can yeah, drive that's a, that's a good good idea andy i don't know if the effects go through the samples or not let me see Where's the auto rem? Oh, does it tell me? You can hear me through like a megaphone, sort of, right? Mm-hmm. Trash is a lovely loss. Did that go megaphone or no? Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. Yeah, that don't work. That's kind of dumb. I wish I could do that. That'd be interesting. Oh, lovely. So... I wonder if there's a way you can do that. There's got to be a way to include that in the sample. Mm. Let me pull up the routing and see if I can. Well, every the thing is, Alton and hi. Not every YouTuber can afford one of these things. What? He said, if so, every YouTuber that does lives should have that soundboard. Oh no, no, every, no! They, he just talking about the effects. I think. Oh. You, you can just record. Like anybody can play. There's them. apps that you can do stuff to. Yeah. yeah. All right, I gotta go in. I'll talk to you guys on the other side. Manana. Mm. Samples. Uh, that's how they serve nachos to me. Nacho. That's just cheese and queso. Damn it. But like nachos should be in a box with cheese on it, melted. But yeah, that's me. And jalapenos. I had nachos last night while you were gaming. Did you? Mm -hmm. All right. So. I, yeah, I don't think there's a way to send it through through that. I wish there was. So how cool is the, what is it called, an interface or something? Like, What's it called, your screen that's connected to it, software? Or? Oh, the Go XLR? Yeah, how is it? It's awesome. It's just, yeah. I mean, I'm not very good with software, so I'm still learning. It. I mean, yeah. it's, You like to be it, hardware. I'm getting better now. Like, that I now, like, I screwed up a lot of stuff in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. I can't even get my laptop to take Mojave, and I can't do the studio, Twitch studio, without Mojave. Is Mojave the newer one? 
Yeah, but I had it on my desktop and it was fucking it up, so I took it off and went back to, like, what's it called? Really? I can't remember. I don't know. They're stupid names. I can't keep up with them. But um, it hmm. keeps refusing it on my laptop, and I wanted to do Twitch Studio from my laptop in my kitchen. And what does I was it just say, gonna, like, when you try and do it? It says, um, it just says it, it can't be done or some or it's broken or something it's like it's this link is it says i don't have to i'll have to try again and send you a picture yeah i mean i'm apple's pretty sophisticated just you yeah, but i've done it before i've like i've put it on there before i don't understand like it just it just makes no sense there's no reason mm -hmm. for it to not take it that's weird yeah i know, I don't know. Because every time i sit down to try to learn things on twitch something stops me mm -hmm. and i get frustrated so maybe mm. one day. I think all I need to do is have my son's kid or uh, friend come over, and he can probably set everything up for me that I need. It takes a kid. You got me thinking now. I'm sitting here. Sorry, I'm just staring at this, trying to think of how I can make other sounds. Do you want me to fart in the, the microphone? microphone? Right. It goes through the microphone. So if I could. Uh, I'll figure it oh, out David! Later. Thank you, David. You're my one and only friend on, on um, Discord. Thank you for showing me how to do it. Uh, oh, actually, no. I'm part of that group you sent. What's it here? Oh, our Discord channel. I haven't really. I've only talked to um, David. Oh, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. I, I was like, I don't even understand. And there's actually some groups I'd like to join, um, but I didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't want to look like an idiot. I don't understand the point in a Discord group, really. I just really don't understand it. Okay, tell me your thoughts, because I want to know it all. Because all Discord is like, I mean, you can chat in it, but it's dumb. Like, it's a, mainly a voice or video. So why would you need to join a group for a voice or video unless you're talking to all those people in voice or video? Hmm. I don't get it. I totally don't get it. I understand people join my Discord, but that's for people they can, like, we could have a Discord, right? Mm -hmm. And all these people could go into that Discord and do the same exact thing they're doing right here. But it's using another piece of software. I just don't understand. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I don't know. Hmm. I just don't <clears throat> understand it. Yeah, I know nothing. I mean, I just I downloaded it a few weeks ago when you told me to and yeah, not I touched just, it. It's a great it's a great chatting device, like, say for gaming, like all the pro gamers, everyone uses Discord. Mm-hmm. Well, I understand aren't... it for a while. Is that what you, you use when you're gaming with them? Though? No. That's how you get your voice We through? use Xbox chat, and it's terrible. It breaks all the time. I oh. want to use Discord, but my friends aren't smart enough to use it. Oh, because then you would just have a separate group of just the people that are gaming right then and there, right? Or is that even a group? Do you even need a group for that? I don't understand that. You don't that. need a group. Like We just join each other's like Xbox chat. We all uh -huh. are in the same... Yeah. It's it It really... Discord is a great tool. Like we could even do the show on Discord. Um, like the whole right. show, we could do the video and everything on Discord, and it's very solid. Like, um, it's very very what's, solid. What's your gamers tag on Xbox? Who? Mine? I don't yeah. even know. Uh, I'm not even well, sure. Drew, no, I'm not Mike. talking about you all, and I'm talking about the guys I play Warzone with. Not they. They they can't figure <clears> out how to get on Discord. Okay, it's but crazy. I the reason I was like, okay, I do want to learn it because when you told me to download, it, I was like, okay, I'll put it on there and mm -hmm. I'll just not say anything until he goes, okay, it's time, right? But then people that I I have found a few people I really like on Twitch and they have Discord groups. Good night, Dan. Thanks for and stopping I'm like, by, buddy. I want to go in there and learn more, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but I was afraid to start trying. But David helped me the other night. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me see. Uh, Microsoft know. chat is awful. Is that Xbox? Yeah, Xbox. Okay. That's what we use. Like when I'm playing, like say if Alton's in there or whatever, it mm -hmm. breaks and he gets kicked out like every five minutes or hmm. it's weird. It's something about the cross platform. It, it's so weird. I don't even know what my. Bye, Dan. My battle net. So, yeah, Discord is great if you're going to utilize. I don't think that 
I just don't know how people utilize it to their full potential. And really, that's where I'm kind of confused. At well, and that's why I want to learn. Because I, if I want to do something on Twitch, I'm going to start a group. And mm -hmm. so I want to learn from other groups. Because I think that's how you grow is by getting a group. Group hugs. I don't know what tools they have, though. I'm still, I, I get weird with new things. I either go full force and touch every button and screw it all up, or I'm afraid to touch buttons. And mm -hmm. for some reason, I'm, I'm afraid to touch buttons. <laughs> eBay mm. viewer bot on my, what does that mean? eBay viewer bot. Mm -hmm. What the hell would you need an eBay viewer bot? Tim, are you on managed payments yet? Looks like spirit. Okay, so what was in the freaking sky tonight? I don't know. I thought I saw Milky Way last night or something in the sky. It was weird. I don't think I've been outside at night in a long time. <laughs> I need to get a life. I did go out today during the day. Five, one, three. Five, but every one, time I go out, it's like the allergies are ridiculous. Poor California. Oh my god, the sky there is fucked up. I can't. I. Ugh. When there's fires, it's horrible to live in near a city with fires. All right. I found my thing for Drew. <clears throat> Hold on, Drew. I'm just curious. Does anyone else... I know somebody in the chat said their sales slowed down after managed payments. Anyone else? Drew, are you um, in here still? Hmm. <laughs> they shoving their shit down my throat. The aliens, Tim? Uh. That's, <laughs> that's my gamer tag, like under the... Jeez. When you go into the bomb. game... Oh, you got to put a pound sign in between the number, the letters and the numbers. You got to put a pound sign. So, sorry. And that's is that for, for Activision. Discord? That's for Activision. Because oh. Discord only has four digits on mine. Is that how yours is on Discord? Discord... Mm -hmm. Discord is different. I don't even remember what mine okay. is on Discord. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, I have heard mixed about managed payments. Some people are just crushing it, and some people aren't. I mean, I just don't know. I mean, I I'm don't getting think, paid. I mean, but it's. Just I don't fun. think managed <laughs> payments has anything to do with it, honestly. Okay. I think it's. I think it's me. I mean, I, I'm I'm fully prepared to take full responsibility yeah. for. Not I mean, it may be there may fast. be slower, like because, but people can still check out with PayPal, so it shouldn't, mm -hmm. in theory. Well, it shouldn't I slow your sales. I get that, but that's not how I look at eBay anymore. I look at it like what glitch is coming next. Right, that's the thing. If it's running as it should, which we ninety nine point nine 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 percent, it's not. Theoretically, you should have an increase in sales because mm -hmm. people can check out with more options. Yeah. But and I mean, I'm sending offers to watchers most days. And I mean, I'm doing the things right. So mm -hmm. other than, I mean. Do you know how to use just... Discord on your Xbox, Marcus? Because hmm. that's where people are running into problem. Like I, like the people we play with on PS4 and Xbox can't figure I out promote, how to run. I promote really high BlackBerry T. I promote... Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm doing the things right. That's why I'm but, pissed. Okay, so let me ask you this. Have you... Realistically, have you looked at the sell-through rate on all your items? No. No, and that's what I said. I said I'm, I'm prepared yeah. to take full responsibility right. for that. But there's still some things sitting that shouldn't be. Like, and if something has seven watchers on it and I send offers... They're just not prepared to pay that, and that's what it's worth, or was worth, so I should just hold on to it, or, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. People, I don't, I think some, a lot of people are just scared to spend money on frivolous things, too. That yeah. could be wrong. I mean, I, I don't, I don't pretend to know if you, how eBay works. Like It doesn't as, matter. Like the, not as far as eBay, how they work, how they're broken, mm -hmm. and how, what what's broken at the, because yeah. there's so many variables right now. You have the train... This is worse than ever, in my opinion, trying to figure out how to make it work mm -hmm. with all the transitions going on. Well, hopefully next month you'll be able to start hopefully running with it. Will, it will be better for people, like, as far as not having to mm -hmm. pay bills, a big bill at the end of the month and mm -hmm. all that stuff. 
Uh, well, and at this point, I'm also, like, instead of getting so down about it, I just look at it like I'm setting it up. I'm setting up my store for sales in the future then. If it's not going to sell fast, it's going to be there, and hopefully fourth quarter. Because if you look at my clothes, anything worth buying is all winter. Like, I don't expect that to sell right now. Yeah. Um, just... I don't, know. I don't know. Let's not talk about eBay. That depresses me. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have like what 55, 60, I don't know, 55 listings on Etsy now. I'm trying. And I'm adding more every day. Nothing's selling yet. I don't know. There's tricks that I don't understand. But Joni's been very helpful. Really? Mm hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. And of course, Tim's always there to help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peloton comes in Tuesday. Nice. Who's got a Peloton coming? Andy. Andy? Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I think I need a gym membership. I don't think I'm afraid to go to the gym for some reason, and it'd get me out of the house every day for something good. Really? Uh huh. Right. Yeah, and I found a gym that has like. The upstairs is only for women, and I kind of like that idea. Mm. Wow. It's, you know, it's so crazy because I, you know, <clears throat> I consume a lot of YouTube, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and the amount of information that I hear that's wrong is so wild <laughs> every day. So I was just looking at some because I hear I, I, this debate is coming back around again for some reason about free shipping versus paid shipping. Mm -hmm. And people have this theory that free shipping gives you better like uh exposure or bump mm -hmm. in results like which it truly doesn't anymore so i just out of curiosity the next item i'm getting ready to list i just went and i just went and typed in nike shoes like nike in the men's shoes category right mm -hmm. just out of curiosity i was like let me just see what the percentages are here so there's 153,000 pair of Nike men's pre-owned shoes listed, right? Mm -hmm. There's 157,000 sold. So they have a, overall the category has a high sell-through rate, but right, but price you break is it down similar. into sizes, the category is very saturated. Um, so now if you break that down to free shipping <clears> out of 153,000, uh, and Let's see. Wait, damn, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do free shipping. Oh, free shipping. What was it again? I hate using this. Here it is, free shipping. Only 45000 are free shipping out of hmm. 153. So not even... Right. What is that? Like... Well, that debate is always going to come and go. I like mean... A, an eighth? Is that an eighth? Is that what that is? No. What is that? I can't do math. What was your first number you said? Three, but only 45000 are free. It's more than an eighth. What is it? I that? don't know. Someone like, else do the math. Uh, Michelle, help. 29%. Thank 29%. you, Josh. <clears throat> and out of the 45,000 that are free shipping, only 33,000 have sold. So not even 100% sell through rate for free shipping. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. I would never do free shipping on never, shoes. Never, a million years. And mm -hmm. this debate comes nope. up all the time. And that's mm -hmm. another thing is I have some, you know, I don't have a ton of shoes right now. My men's shoes sell very fast typically. Like very, I can't, my women's shoes sit in, for a while for women's some reason. Women's dress yeah. shoes are slower, but women's. Yeah, but they still shoes. sell and I don't mind, you know, they just sit there and wait. But men's sell really fast mm -hmm. this year, especially until now. Like I've got Brooks Ghost, I've got Salomon. But also the um, child the the styles changed overnight. Like what people yeah, wear. athletic like these shoes should have sold. I've had offers on them. Maybe my prices are I'm just wanting more because I'm not yeah. selling um other things that I maybe priced them too high. Yeah. But I, I I've I've accepted, you know, I, I have best mm -hmm. offer on them. Like I sh I don't know. I find it interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found this interesting. I saw this debate going on the other day. Hmm. It was just so mind-boggling. Okay, like, what did those people... I mean, you don't have to say who, no but... Facts. There was no facts at all. Like, well, that's the whole thing. I always do free shipping because I get a bump in search results. That's not no, you fact. don't. 
Absolutely no, not. not at all. Promoted listings overrides everything, mm -hmm. no matter what. And that's factual. Yeah. That's factual. That, well, um, and I, I can't help but, like, I mean, I, I don't ever take this as I'm putting this off on you. Sometimes I seriously go, well, they do know I do this with Tommy Bernard. <laughs> I swear to God, like everything just fucking halted. Okay, like I swear, the fuckers. <laughs> Ain't me, bro. Ain't me. I know. Even I get sales without even trying, like on accident. <laughs> like I don't even mm -hmm. look at my eBay store and get sales on accident. Like it's like. I, well, I get I sale. I'm not saying I don't get sales. I'm just saying I'm putting in daily effort. Fuck. Yeah, but again i know i it, i'm so not sourcing shit. the shit i normally source okay no, i'm not going have ebay plus here drew i'm not going thrift shopping not i'm not going estate selling did, i think they not, did try it they were gonna try it that's like amazon prime knockoff right and now what that is like the two day or whatever mm -hmm. i think that's just kind of like top rated here you, you gotta ship it out well, we have top rated plus yeah ebay plus is i think you actually pay for it i think a program to be part of I don't have calculated shipping on. Uh, I have flat rate shipping. Yeah, Michelle, calculated um, is broke on a lot of accounts. Like, not a yeah. lot of accounts, but a lot of calculations is what it is. Oh, I will never do calculated again after that mm. night where you and Lonnie and I sat here and figured <laughs> out how fucked up it looked on everyone else's end. I will mm -hmm. never go back to calculated in my entire life. Like, never an option. I don't. Yeah. You could talk to me until I'm blue in the face. I will never fucking do it. Yeah. If anyone who uses calculated, you should always get someone in the other side of the country to look at your store mm -hmm. and make sure that they're not right. They're not. Because people pay more attention to <laughs> shipping costs than they do price. It's mm -hmm. so weird. It's so weird that people will squabble. You could sell them. That's why sometimes people think you can pad the... If, if you could get more visibility and more sales out of free shipping, it would probably be smarter because people mm -hmm. can't see it, but it doesn't yeah. work that way anymore. And also it's higher fees, but the way people, they will question shipping quick. Yeah. So Cause crazy. you look like a scammer. You look yeah, like, like I had a really desirable boom box, like, and I'm going everyone else that I know has that's found this has sold it in a day or two. Mm -hmm. Mine has sat here for months. What the fuck? Like I'm not lowering it anymore because I know what everybody else was selling it for. And Lonnie was like, fuck, it's got $80 shipping on it. I go, what? <laughs> and then you looked at it. It was a hundred dollars to $100 you. To me, yeah. And I'm like, well, mm -hmm. I wouldn't buy it either. Like, are you no. kidding? So I changed it to flat rate mm -hmm. shipping. It sold the next day like it should have always. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. It was so eye-opening. I couldn't. Always, I can't say it's always right? broke, but it does break a lot. And you don't know it because there's mm -hmm. no way for you to tell. Right. There's no way for you to tell if your shit isn't selling because when you're well, listening. Here's the thing. Like, you know what a pair of shoes costs. It doesn't cost me more than $10 to ship a pair of shoes ever unless it's in a... Unless it's boots unless or something. Unless it's a boot box or something mm -hmm. like that, right? Never going to yeah. cost me more than $10. So mm -hmm. there's no reason for me to ever use calculated when I can put nine ninety nine on every single pair of shoes, yep. know it, and people know that that's what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. When I'm listing a pair of shoes, and I you, before I flip it over, it'll say, mm -hmm. what, like eight $8.40 to... Seventeen dollars and ninety cents, or something. Mm -hmm. It's going to show the higher price. Show that price to yeah. the people on the West Coast. Yeah. So if you're you're knocking off half of the country, that by looks scammy the, too. Like especially well, if you live on a coast. People don't. But, but but eBay doesn't bad. teach anyone this shit. No one knows. No, no. one knows this stuff. I don't That's think cool. they know. I don't think they know. Honestly. Mm. <laughs> no, no, I just it was the best crazy. move I made. If you're like so like me, I. My a vast majority of my sales always go to California. Mm -hmm. If you're seeing that your sales aren't going to the other side, because California's got what twenty some percent of the population, so theoretically, almost all my sales right now are going yeah. to California. Yeah, twenty some percent of your sales should go to California. If that's mm -hmm. not the case, then your shipping is jacked. Yeah, or the yeah, because you're they're not going to pay for it, and you're being looked over. Because mm -hmm. it does that still, even though the shipping, your price might be okay, the shipping still puts you above. They're Unless not, you only sell very unique items, then none of this matters, oh, really. Yeah. Always an exception. But I don't know many of us that only sell unique mm -hmm. items. We mostly sell all the same bullshit, you know? The only thing I ever, ever in my life do calculate on is something I don't want to ship. 
I know I've done it. I still have something that I won't jack with they're any of the prices because I want to keep for it. Me to ship it. Right? They're going to pay. <laughs> Yeah. And then because calculated will assure they're going to pay me for my time to ship it. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Yeah. But anything else, like I know that a pair of jeans are going to go on a padded flat rate. It's going to cost me mm-hmm. seven seventy five or seven thirty five, whatever the hell it is. And yeah. So I always do eight ninety nine all the time. There's no fans or buds. But if I didn't do that, and I just put in that I'm going to ship it, you know, one or two pounds or whatever it is, a hundred pound and a half, mm-hmm. you know, twelve by ten by two eBay is going to tell somebody in California that it's going to cost them $18 to ship it. That's yeah. where eBay's biggest problem with shipping in. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It is so yeah. crazy that after 20 years that they can't even do something so mm-hmm. easy. They, they don't have it for cubic. So anything over two pounds, you're automatically screwed. Mm-hmm. All automatically screwed. You're gone. Less than two pounds, mm, you could be okay on some things, on si- depending on the size. Oh, yeah. Annie, um, I don't find... I don't get that many returns on women's shoes. I get more than men's though, but not many at all. How about you? Um, I don't get many returns at all on any clothing or shoes. Period. I get. But you more... sell mostly men's as well. Yes, but I do sell <clears throat> a lot of women's shoes, but mostly they go on Poshmark faster. So I've yeah. I've only ever had one problem on Poshmark, and it was totally mm-hmm. my fault, and mm-hmm. I just told Poshmark it was my fault and they credited the people. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't see a rip in a pair of jeans in the knee. I totally missed it somehow. I don't mm-hmm. even know how I missed it. I so, remember that. You should. Yeah, I was so mad. I thought they were scamming me. I was I know. Furious. I was <laughs> yeah. furious. And then, I just find that men's stuff sells faster, Annie, honestly. It, or better. Yeah. And I don't know. And am I might, like I'm not even sourcing right now in retail arbitrage. Sometimes I'll go out here and there, mm-hmm. and men's is easier to find retail arbitrage, no doubt. Yeah, and I mean, I know, I don't know. yeah, and yeah, because the last RA I did, I found all women, so that's kind of not true. Yeah, I don't. I think I don't know. I just feel like a lot of I don't. I feel like eBay's not a women's type place just for me like i just feel like i just don't have any luck on poshmark at all and mercari is not good for clothing for me i have i don't i couldn't tell you the last thing i saw that mercari that was good for like certain things like the 20 year old brand like i feel like my north face stuff sells faster on mercari Mm -hmm. that kind of those kind of brands like outdoorsy type stuff Mm -hmm. hats um i don't know it's weird i'd have to look it's just I don't I sometimes I don't pay attention really mm-hmm. but I get a vibe when I'm listing stuff to know where I should list it first like yeah. I just feel like I need I know where I'm going to go with it before I list it I just feel like um like my lack of sourcing has created this horrible sales issue is how I feel cuz typically if I were yard selling or thrift shopping I'd be bringing home a major you know all these different categories and i really feel like that helps if you just keep listing and every like shit will stick you know i i don't know but yet i don't mind doing the jewelry because the jewelry will just sell eventually and literally i've got these two boxes this big and i have 300 items in it like they literally take up no fucking space right. but i mean you know like you're saying the sales are so sales are so sales, but you're listing slow selling stuff yeah, yeah. You got to know that in your head. Yeah, if I were throwing shoes in right now in my listing, they'd be selling. You know, yeah. but still the jewelry's selling. I mean, I'm not saying they're not selling cuz right. I listed probably, something last night and it sold this morning, you know, like a pendant necklace right. thing. But, you know, so it does some of itself fast. People buy on instinct versus I I feel like no one really looks at sell through rate when they buy stuff if they, you know, yeah. they just it Yeah. Well, especially yeah. jewelry and glass yeah. and antiques yeah, and vintage. Kind of you can't. It's yeah, it doesn't work that mm-hmm. way. You just yeah. kind of have to know that well, you're setting I up your store for future. Jewelry, I'm sitting on shit all. That's clothing. All that's the time. with clothing. Yeah, you kind of want it. To you're move, gonna be but. sitting on it, and that's why it's like you. You see people say list, list, <laughs> list, and get more sales. Well, yeah, duh, because I mean, it's just one. It's just percentages. The laws. It's not that yeah. actually listing does anything. It's just percentages. The more yeah. items that are out there Love and the kind of millions of eyes, you're going to get a sale. It's not like really any magical trick. Mm-mm. It's just 
math. Like I say this all the time, it sounds so stupid, but eBay is literally just math. It's mm -hmm. not anything else. <laughs> Nothing else other than math. Oh yeah. man. More returns since started managed payments? I wonder why. Hmm. That's weird. Do you think it I don't know what kind of stuff you sell, but do you think it's um... maybe vets just got it down to because I don't really I just focus more on posh, I think, with women's stuff. I don't have I don't have ninety five percent of women's stuff listed on eBay. Guaranteed. Like, I, I don't have a I don't wouldn't say there's a problem with women's clothing on eBay. I th I feel like well, and it may be again. It's it's going to be a demographic thing. I feel like people who have grown up using eBay are going to be on eBay, but then there's a newer generation on Poshmark, and then a yet an even newer generation on Mercari, and yet an even newer generation on Grailed and Depop. Mm -hmm. and da, 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 da. Yeah. So it depends on what you're listing. I mean, shoes. I feel like women's shoes have always done really well on eBay. That's um, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, especially like comfort That's shoes and stuff. It's so like free. It's like a... no, it's not. It's a fucking pain in the ass, and the bitches are like making less than half offers. Every one of them, and I'm I like, don't, I so... don't even look at those though. I just don't even answer. If I didn't look at those, I'd have nothing to look at. <laughs> like it's literally. I'm ridiculous. on vacation for the last month and the next month and the next month. I'm not really concerned about. It. Yeah. I haven't been paying attention, honestly, because I'm not I know. doing anything. It's like I listed like 10 or 15 items yesterday for the first time in ages. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why I did it. I don't even. I was just like bored, I think. Yeah. And I don't know. Plus, it was stuff that was kind of intriguing that I've never listed before. So, mm -hmm. well, then I felt like venturing out to yard sales this weekend and I looked at the yard sale treasure map and it looked like shit to me. I was like, I heard mm -hmm. that from a lot of people this week that their really? treasure map looked bad. Like okay. who was somebody else I was listening to said they looked at they and, and that never means there's not stuff there because we all know you go and you usually find shit but I'm like I'm not gonna venture out for the first time in a very long time to don't source you like do that over that though like going to look for shit like, yes over that I am but I'm I feel like I'm you're missing just... out on something too I do I do I miss I like know. I like it I like it so I thought man. I could just spot a couple that I want to go to, and I couldn't, like, I couldn't even pick two that looked good enough to try, because the last time I went, I don't know when it was, like, it was during lock, it was during all this. I went and I'm like, I'm gonna go to two, and it was horrible. And you come home, and you're just like, why did I get up early for that shit? And why did I stress myself out over this crap? And I was pissed. And I was like, never again. <laughs> but I know how good our yard sales normally are. It's just not yeah. really right. It's hard. I don't know. I, I go through that all the time. Like, I don't want to wait. And it's not. Time. Yeah, it's just in my head. I just have to work my way out of. Because I can't I'm go. Feeling. I have. I, I I can't go. If I go to five thrift stores, literally five, it, it's an all day event. All day. I can't, mm -hmm. it's just the time versus, I mean, what am I going to find? I, I mean, it could be a great day or it could be terrible. Yeah. And but I, I also, that. I feel like there's so many people buying liquidation and I, I oh, just, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't even know which direction to go to because it all seems like everyone else is doing it all anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I can't make it any different or special. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to go about what I want to do now. Really? Like, Oh wow! I'll start at six to beat the heat. Yeah, we yeah, and that's a, two in a whole state. I think Saturday. That's in my whole state. probably the issue because mm -hmm. the heat was like what 105 today. I think yeah, I maybe. really think like I've been saying it for a long time. I love auctions. I think auctions are the way to go mm -hmm. if you like that type of thing. Online auctions, estate mm -hmm. sales are online now. Like there's so yeah. much online that you don't have to leave. You can mm -hmm. just <laughs> you can just clean up without leaving your house. Damn, Josh, you could cover your whole house in, in like, a house. A house I, don't, I don't even know what that is. But that's Skeins awesome. of yarn or those little packages of yarn that they knit with. Oh. And crochet. Awesome. Is that, like, a multi-listing? That would be awesome if it's, like, That'd a multi-listing. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah, I buy yarn if it's wool or cashmere or, you know, something good. I don't buy acrylic unless it's vintage. But um, I've never bought yarn before. It can be good. Vintage um, sewing thread, like industrial I'm sewing thread. I'm sure you make threads. bundles, right? Lots of it. That would probably be worth it. Uh -huh. You need to. You need yeah, to if you can. I feel yeah. like... Because if somebody makes wants to make a blanket or something, you can't just buy one skein of yeah, yarn that, and be okay. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Like, you never know what you're missing out on. 
I yeah. just I just been a lot of lately I've been just thinking more and more and more about time wasted chasing stuff. Mm-hmm. Like it is the thrill is there. The thrill is there. You never know what you're gonna get right walking into anything. Uh, you know, thrift store, yard sale, garage sale, retail arbitrage. Mm-hmm. You don't know. That's a thrill. Mm-hmm. It's a thrill. But also when you evaluate the time versus what you found. I can't see mine ever adding up. I just can't. To, not to, to scale, to be able to scale to the next level. You can't yeah. sustain it. You can't You can't buy more from the same places in the same time. They mm-hmm. physically can't give you more. You're going to get what you're going to get. You can't add more hours in the day. You can't add more anything to scale. Well, that. and to be honest like i'm tired of cleaning and fixing things too like i don't really want that to be anywhere in even shoes sometimes i'm like why did i buy those i don't i'm not in the mood now right do you ever do that like i used to love yeah some i used to love cleaning shoes i mean i still like i I did it the other day i cleaned some mugs i get a thrill out of that sometimes Mm-hmm. Like because they come back so good, Uggs do. I know it's and that is exciting <laughs> when like, you get them. Um, good. Like I haven't, I feel like I haven't found decent Uggs in a long time, mm-hmm. and I got a pair from Mister Buys lot when I was up there, and I. Nice. They're going for shit right now. They're I don't know if the mm-hmm. if it's just because it's mostly summer in a lot of places. Mm-hmm. But man, there's people selling them for twenty, twenty five dollars, twenty. Like what? I used to mm-hmm. get fifty. 60 bucks yeah out of every that's depressing isn't it like when you yeah. look at how things gone down like that yeah yeah i well, enjoy it's weird Ari because too, like a lot gracie didn't yeah. enjoy it at first she hated it i like it now and okay so speaking of Uggs, can you just tell me i was right all this time like that i that it would be you would i, I don't understand that rush you don't it's not the i same can't way. say those words to you tommy yeah yeah okay. right, right. you're wrong um but what was it? Off fit Saks off the fifth had UGG um, earmuffs, like a mm-hmm. bunch of them. And I, I was like, I gotta get them. I got. I know they'll be great at Christmas. But I looked at the comps for the past year, and they suck balls. Yeah. Like they're off. And I'm like, how can this be this right. low? Like, like right. this is more than you're getting on eat. Like I would lose money. I don't even understand. Yeah. I go. Right. But then, then I stopped. I go. But I can do it. And no, you can't. Like, I stopped myself. I'm like, don't ever do that. Don't act like you can do something that the comps aren't showing. Because no. do you ever do you ever oh, run that through I your head? I online for more, and it never works out that way. <laughs> I'm like, stop. I'm, I generally sell for less than the comp. Generally. Mm-hmm. Right. Because I don't sit on shit. I don't yeah. sit on they it. They were I in don't. my cart. Like, 50 of these were yeah. in my fucking cart. I'm like... Mm-hmm. This is bad. This is bad. And I looked at it and my son was me. I go, take these out of my cart. I'm going to go walk over there. Just put them out on the shelf yeah. again and never mention them again. And don't let me yeah. get them. Ross, <laughs> last year, Ross had like mm-hmm. the $150 Ugg pull down mm-hmm. ear flap hats. The, <sighs> yeah. with the the same Ugg boot material all the way mm-hmm. around it. Same yeah. as an Ugg boot, just made into Shearling. a hat. Shearling. <laughs> mm. Ross was selling them for oh man i think i think 19.99 i think right mm-hmm. they had i believe they were 148 dollar msrp theoretically yeah, so you you're think you could double 70 bucks 75 bucks right half, yeah. usually generally half of msrp mm-hmm. they were selling them for 25 28 29 oh, wow this is yeah. crazy so i guess Ugg has probably gotten to the point where it's saturated and mm-hmm. stuff like they that. They must have not... outlets and stuff. Oh, they yeah, have I outlets. Guess. They do. Yeah. Okay. They do. And generally, that's a sign. Like, when an outlet comes, that it's hard to... You uh, know what's going to suck, though? Watch this Christmas roll around, and they're selling really good, and they should have been bought, you know? Yeah. And you never <laughs> know, because they, they might discontinue them. They might not make them anymore. You never know. It's hard to predict. Mm-hmm. Hard to predict that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I'm with you, Alton. Like, I... It is... It's so easy to photograph... I grab a stock photo. I don't care if it's right or wrong. Yeah, I you do it. Use stock photos, yeah. Um, I mean, I take picture of the item too, but it, I don't have to put. I don't put them on my mannequin anymore. Usually, mm-hmm. sometimes, like I have a few that are waiting for a mannequin still, but it happens so rarely that they're just sitting there waiting to be photographed. Um, I don't know. It's just nice knowing they're new and. You have the name of the item there. You have the MSRP. You have all the information you need. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. It it is easy. But I also understand the thrill of the hunt for like the thrift mm-hmm. and the RA. Like it's it's a thrill. Yeah. But sometimes the thrill wins out over smart decisions. Mm-hmm. Not sometimes, most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's like that's why people are addicted to sourcing. They are mm-hmm. so addicted to sourcing because it's that thrill. When yeah, but I'm none, not. None of us are addicted to yeah. listing for some strange reason. But listing's not that bad. Like it doesn't even. You really just got to get into it, right? You got to get into it. Yeah. Like once she's, I just can't get started. Like once I get started, I'm totally fine. I can do it as long as I want. Like. But, I don't know. Oversourcing mm. would drive me crazy if I wasn't listing. Oh, I know. Most people that would be, do, like, I, I really, feel. like, I think, like, just the jewelry I still have to go, th- I mean, figure out <laughs> what I'm doing with it. It's still around. And I'm like, if this were big items, I'd be going nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you vet, you killed it there 10 minutes. But yeah, then you- I bought a gas fireplace and it's fucking still sit. It's in my dining room. <laughs> I still haven't put it on Facebook. Like I'm a dumbass. It's mm-hmm. in, new in the box. Like it's gonna sell super fast. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. I got so much to do on Facebook. Like there's, I have so much list on Facebook. I just can't get motivated. Yeah, I can't because I just hate. I don't answer stupid questions. I don't answer. Is it available? I don't answer any of that stuff. Like I don't even respond to it. But it still annoys me. Like it's just. I don't answer unless they say I'm coming to get it. That's hmm. it. That is it. I don't know. Do they have a good sell through rate, Vidal? Um, Do- it's 1970s Dr. Seuss books. Um, I would go with Etsy if they're selling there, but you have to see what they're being listed at. If you use it, go to Sellhound, Vidal, Sellhound.com. You can type that in there and it'll give you the comps for most of the platforms all in one spot. Mm-hmm. So I always forget to use that. It's it's really good tool for like a, a small snapshot of the but also they may be something that just takes a long time to sell. Like uh mm-hmm. if you look on Terapeak and over the last year. Also how many are listed, that's the thing. Like mm-hmm. listed versus sold. It, right, because there are so many made. There's so many made, but yeah. how, how many, many are, are in good, in condition? good? Yeah. Yeah, like and I love Dr. Seuss. That's mm-hmm. cool. It's like I don't even know. Love it. But, a um, dog party. Because <laughs> I think the Dr. Seuss books would probably go in a lot, right? Wouldn't they go in a lot? I would think. Probably, unless there's a specific one that sells really <laughs> well. Oh, um, Amazon. Yeah, maybe. Maybe yeah, but yeah, they don't look like they sell for a lot, but don't like at all. But think about it. Every child. In America, probably had these books, unless yeah. there's those those weird ones that you're like, oh, that's a Dr. Seuss book. Maybe those. Two hundred and thirty-three lots <laughs> listed right now. Um, uh, let's see. Would you eat eggs and ham with a goat? Would you eat it on a boat? <laughs> Hi, you guys. So here, here, doing my YouTube schedule. Green kegs and, and ham. Uh, I don't know. It'd be nice if eBay would even work. Be going he on sold. It. Okay. They, oh, and thank you, Vidal. So they um, have like a 50% sell through rate, and like a lot of six is going for like five bucks. Hmm. Uh, plus shipping. Like, yeah, I would do Etsy, I bet. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Etsy's weird, though, because. The highest price sold over the last 90 days is a. People, it looks like the same seller. They're making lots of thirty, and they're selling them for ninety nine dollars free shipping. Hmm. And it's the same seller. They're selling. Well, that's pretty good. She, they paid uh, thirty three cents each. Mm-hmm. Vidal, yeah, is that a, Are you female? I'm assuming. I can't see in the picture. Vidal, I think Vidal's male. Oh. Vidal's <laughs> definitely male. Um, Sassoon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would lot them up for sure, 100%. There are a few that have little value. Yeah, just lot them up like a, a couple bucks each. Mm. Yeah. Yep, right. Medium mail, 100%. Definitely. Shipping Sunshine knows. Long story short. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? 
I thought I was. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, my friend, sorry, that's my friend Eric's laugh. His laugh is so crazy. I keep wondering who that is. I thought that's it was Eric. somebody on that's, the radio. Yeah, they call him Three Toe. He's the one that owns Annie Ann. Oh, is that Three Toe? Okay. Yeah. His aunt is Annie Ann for real, like no joke. That his yeah, aunt yeah. is Annie Ann. Like that, everyone mm-hmm. thinks I'm joking, but I'm not. It's like what's legit. the name one? What's the name of the one that sounds like um? Mushmouth. Boomhauer. <laughs> Boomhauer. Who's that? Has he got a mushmouth? From- yeah, that one. That's Matt. He's a he's got like yeah, okay. much mouth. Okay. I forget where I put these sounds. Jesus. You need what little is... sticky things. I know. Crazy. The taco meal. The, the the three tacos. Did I say Jesus it Christ? Else. It wasn't. It wasn't that guy. Trash it. You. Trash it. Oh God. <laughs> It busted my balls. <laughs> Hi guys, Zahir here, doing my YouTube schedule. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, David. <laughs> Trash is a lovely lass. <laughs> yeah, well, no, he, like literally. Like, Where did uh, he go? Did he go to? Sl- he's he's in a he food. He probably got a heart attack after that order. I mean, did you hear his order? Okay, yeah. we the number two. I'm gonna do an intervention. Oh, you know. okay. Poor guy. Supreme, with the uh, Diet Coke, the big one. The big uh, one. Yes. Also, uh, a Dorito Loco Taco Supreme chicken. Yeah, yeah chicken. Yeah. And then two nachos with cheese and a side of guacamole. All righty. You can put that in a flour tortilla. <laughs> Thank you. Is that the world's uh, longest order? Like, mm-hmm. uh, like period? Like. Mm-hmm. He literally had four people could have ordered in the time he ordered his. That's one. a lot of sour cream, really. That's, That's a lot good. of. I mean, did anyone add that up? Like, could it, could we get a calorie adder on here by chance? Like, is there anybody that? That's has over a, a day. That's over a day's worth of calories. I would guarantee love you. to know what the calorie is on yeah. a number. Give me the number two. All all chicken. Number two, all chicken. Supreme, Supreme. with the uh, diet coke, the big one. Uh, yes. Also, uh, a Dorito Loco Taco Supreme chicken, yeah, yeah, chicken, and then two nachos with cheese and a side of guacamole. No, Alrighty. Sherry, I, I would love to give him that excuse, but it's like no, so. 1 a.m. here. His parents are Thank you. dead asleep. <laughs> They're not eating it. And he'll tell you. He'll yeah. say no. He'll that's like it's his. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. He's so funny. Why two nachos? Like that was over the top. I'd like to help him. What do you What do you want to do? Well, I think if he just um, ordered a salad somewhere earlier in the day and grabbed it out of the fridge and took it home and ate a salad, and you know what? Here's what I do because I used, I love tacos too, but I'll just eat a taco salad, and then I feel like I had tacos, but I didn't. I ate more lettuce than anything. Dylan, who so did I- you say your man crush is? Gay John. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Feeling if you were going to make love to any man in the world, who would it be? Gay John. All right. No, thank you. That's look good. You're honest. <laughs> oh, God. Who does Lone Star Picker love? Gay John. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we're always up. We're oh, always, we're up. always up. Mm-hmm. Always. Mm. Well, I don't know. Till two. <laughs> I mean, we've only been on three hours. It is like. I know. That's... Half of the time. And I am spent, man. I am like. My head hurts. I feel like I ate. Like at least a number two mm-hmm. nacho chips, yeah, diet coke, the whole nine, mm-hmm. all of it. Who do you love? Even Andy was in here earlier. Where'd he go? Andy, um, parrothead. I know, I know. He probably didn't enjoy. He probably like, what the fuck is this? I'm out. Uh, Why do I have to miss him so much? And he's never know. around. He don't like us anymore. He does. Oh man, Andy Samita. 
What are you doing? Andy? And where's Ronnie been? Like I haven't seen him. I talked to Ronnie today for a little bit actually. He's didn't you see did you see his video in his office? He no. Really, it's really nice. He turned out really oh, wow. nice. Okay, I'm gonna have you to have check to watch that it. out. Turned out that gives really me something good. to do. I've literally been on Twitch all the time. I don't even go on YouTube much. I don't I know. know. Okay, I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed with this girl, Sweet Anita. She, I can't, I cannot stop watching her. It is a serious problem. It's going to become an issue. But sweet is Anita. She's so sweet. And she's really beautiful and very, very intelligent. And her Tourette's outbreaks are so funny, but she doesn't mind laughing at them because it's who she is and she's embraced it and she's there to make people aware. She really she Lone Star Picker? No. <laughs> Lone Star Picker could learn a few things from her. <laughs> but she her um she has all these different types of Tourette's like there's different categories. Like one is um audio, one's like physical, and then there's the audio one that you, you are vulgar. And she has all of these, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Right, Ray? Glad. She is so awesome. I um, go ahead. <laughs> Good Lord. Look, see, Lone Star Pickers and Tourette's are blasting right now. They're all right. <laughs> you, oh. you just have to go watch her because I think you're... Like, I want her and ads to talk. But I think... She would blow ads away, like really, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen but her. She, she, her outbreaks are like, I'm gonna deep throat a train. Like, it's what? like, where'd that come from? I mean, it is like, I want to suck your cock, and then she's like, oh. I don't want to suck, she, and she's like, I don't want to suck your cock. I mean, it is like, fucking cool. <laughs> you busted my balls. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, that's so crazy. She was on Amaranth today, and I was like, what? That's yeah. weird, but it worked out okay. Number two. All, all chicken. <laughs> so I could listen to that all With day. Yeah, uh, Diet Coke, the big one. I know, I know Andy, yes. I know, I know. Also, uh, a Dorito Loco Taco Supreme chicken. Yeah, yeah, chicken. And then two nachos with cheese. And a side of guacamole. You got that, Josh? Okay. All righty. All right. Josh, I had to play that yeah. again for Josh. No so that that way uh, Thank you. he can get it. Uh, oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ray. What happened with Ray? I just missed what he said. He's Pete, Ronnie, Golden Finger Picker, Manson. You're on your way. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, Ray is just, I've never seen anybody like her. I'm like, and if you go to her YouTube, it's really easy to watch just her clips because they're all shortened down. They're fucking funny. Oops. We like him this way, don't we? Mm-hmm. It's better this way, Tommy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, bro, leave me alone. Oh, if I knew it was going to be that kind of party, I would have stuck my dick in the mashed potatoes. I know. I got you. <laughs> you just see this. You just see I this. didn't see it. I, I ignore half of his because I usually don't understand them. <laughs> Why are you so low now? Mm. I turned mine down. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Tommy, if you... Uh-huh. Can you can you hear this? Hold on. All chicken. It was on Amaranth today, and I was like, "What? That's yeah. weird." But it worked can out. Can you hear that? Yeah, but that's not a clip. No. Amaranth today, and I, I was like, "What?" But you that's can hear weird, it, right? It worked mm-hmm. out. Okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, Erase that. I did. Uh, no, okay. it's not a clip. It's just Twitch is playing over there. It's on and it's on uh. backwards. Okay. On a delay. Okay. That's all. Uh, is watermelon point. juice freshly squeezed? If you get it from the right place. So, all right, can you, can you, hold on. Tell me, can you hear me? Join. 
<laughs> what? All, all chickens. I was on Amaranth today, and I was like, what? That's yeah. weird, but it worked it's out. It's playing a video. It's playing the video. You can still hear that playing? Yeah. Oh. Now I hear you. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. Okay. So J Annie joined Twitch, and somehow she's Triceratops not. <laughs> I don't remember picking the name. Dinosaurs don't exist, Annie. <laughs> Cool. Right. Can you still hear it? No. All right. I just want to make sure. Are we testing things? Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm testing things. That's all right. Ugh. Mm -hmm. You're working late tonight, Tim. How you doing? I don't do Twitch, but I might eventually. Well, I'm looking into it. But I don't think. I, I don't know. It's so weird. What? Twitch? Yeah, it's like I love it, but yet it's weird. I think it would be easier for a pretty girl to grow on Twitch than it is just someone normal. Yeah, but not a 48 year old woman. I think it's easier yep. for a 28 year old woman. What did you. What happens if you just tell people that you're not 48? It'd be a lie. Right? I don't mm, know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm your 84. I don't really. It's not that I want to do anything special there either. I just thought it might be fun to do something and see where it goes. Mm. I mean, I don't expect greatness, but even if you have a small following, it seems pretty cool. I you think, know? Yeah, I think. Twitch is a lot better. Let's see people with 30 to 40 Twitch, people. Please? What's Annie's Twitch? Can I put up Annie's Twitch? What does that mean? Oh, uh, the link. Annie, can you link it so we can click on it? Oh. Um. Oh, shit. My bad. I don't, I, don't, see, I don't see it. She's not doing anything on Twitch. She just has an account name. Oh. oh, oh, oh. So she can watch others okay annie go look for sweet underscore anita it you'll get it mm. <laughs> did you get it did you find it it just shows the fishing Oh, who was it? Oh, Tommy, the bargain effect. What? Started started like a fishing channel or a travel on the cheap or something. They mm -hmm. should fish over on Twitch. Live. Oh my god, yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, crazy. Krillin, are you eating them now? Just now? You've you devoured them. Don't even be silly. <laughs> You're busting my balls. Mm-hmm. Mm. Thank you, Ray. Oh, man. So. What in the world is going on here? Mm -mm -mm. So, we don't have 1080p on, right? Yes, we do. Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. Does it look clear? I guess it does, huh? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Does I'm it look tired. clear? It just looked. It looks clearer on YouTube than it does on StreamYard. I was just checking. Um, to me. That's just to me. Oh, yeah. that was comfortable silence, Louie. There's such thing. When you have a four-hour stream and only two people and aren't overcrowding it with six, you get some silence here and there. <laughs> We're both, um, like, busy, too. I'm listing. I'm working no. I'm working on something, and Tracy's <laughs> Andy Sameta sent me something I need to play. Yeah. And I'm trying to get it because it comes in the wrong <gasps> format. I got to do it. Okay. So, Soda Poppin' is back on. Really? That's good. I don't really understand. I, didn't, I never knew what happened. But his brother mm -hmm. was on last night because I was popping on back and forth between Taco and Dustin. And, um, but they don't do the same things, so I don't know. 
what is but, his brother just does like in real life stuff right just talking. yeah right now he used to game when he lived in vegas with my daughter he gamed but hmm. then he just he makes bank just talking and chatting so mm -hmm. um but he's the first one that ever told me like before i ever met you or anything he's like youtube get on twitch i'm like hell no i don't game He's like, Twitch is where it's at. <laughs> but um, I didn't really want to ask him in the chat what happened to his brother so much because I thought that was rude. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. Soda Pop, who is his brother, Pony Boy? No, it's D. Kane. Dustin Morris. Yeah, um. She's. Cr oh, wait. Who's great? Oh, did you go see her, Annie? Is that who, who you're talking about? Who? I'm talking to Annie. Oh, 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 oh. Anita. Oh, sweet Anita? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just addictive. I could watch her all day. Oh, man. Sorry. All right. I'll... <laughs> yeah. Andy, Andy's You're... messing me up. Oh, Andy. What did you do that for? I hope it's worth it. Me too. I hope it works. Linda's big birth and know how to print her name. No, they go to the post office to print them because they don't sell that way, Louie. They sell at estate, at estate sales and locally. Like, I want to suck your cock! And then she's like, I don't want to suck, <laughs> like, suck your cock. Hold <laughs> 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 on, I got pubes in my Can you shorten it? Like, that's uh, not even... He didn't even cut that right. Like, there should be nothing other than that. <laughs> that was so loud. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. <laughs> I want to suck your cock. And she's like, I don't want to suck your cock. She's like, I don't want to suck your cock. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, wow, this show is Poor really, Andy. really stepping it up here, aren't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can't go back, too. Like, also, you can't go back. And yeah, I had to open Fillmore up and, like, trim it down and Did change you? the MP3. Oh, and Yeah, no, go back and her face on that was crazy, wasn't she? I don't you busted my balls. Oh, God. Andy should clip her response to that. That was the best. Uh, what was the res What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What was the response? You, your response was epic. Oh. To that. <laughs> fun times. Fun Let's times. see. I want to suck your cock. <laughs> you got to lengthen it a tiny bit because you cut off the cock. <laughs> I want to suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Do not let your daughter find that button. Oh, God. Um, Can you imagine? This is crazy. This is epic. Now I just need to... So that chick, she was on a stream with three other females today. And one of them left. I had to leave early. And so her Tourette's tics are... They would usually, like, offend most people, right? But you just up front say, like, this is how I am. Please don't take offense because it's not personal. I don't think what I say. And then like, the girl leaves and she goes, she's a slut. <laughs> And they, they just start yeah. laughing. And she's like, she's not a slut, okay? <laughs> like, she's just so fucking funny. She's a slut. <laughs> the Tourette's is like a true serum. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. I, but not, yeah, I know. It's so sad, though. Can you imagine if you just always blurted this shit out? It would be really hard to get through life. I want to suck your... Oh, it's so fucking loud. I want to suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, wow. I want to suck your cock. How loud <laughs> oh, God. is it? It's loud. I want to suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> There's Rick. You got it going. Uh, Thank you, Andy. You made my night. 
Uh, so, how's eBay? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rob, can Hi, say guys. what fucking doing. Zahia here, doing my <laughs> YouTube schedule. Oh god. Mm -hmm. I wanna suck your cock! Trash it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even get the deep throat the train one. Oh. That's stupid of him. Hey John. Mm -hmm. you, do you what? Did you hear that? What? Gay John. Want to suck your cock? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you want to suck Gay John's cock? Evidently, yeah, said. I do. Wow. Uh, once you've done one cock, you've sucked them all. <laughs> God, damn, crazy. Yeah. Getting They're crazy. Awesome. Where's yeah, Krillin at? Krillin. Alton, that's not enough cock. <laughs> Man, Alton, you're coming up short, bro. Man. Did Marcus go to bed? Where's Martin at? Mark Martin. Marcus. Martin. Ricky Martin. You gonna go play video games? Not really into this anymore. I'll go back if you want it ba that badly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm about ready to get off of here. I'm running out of things. Sam, my words are running out. I'm running out of words. Uh, I'm all tired right here. Boop. Playing and listening. Yeah, Did Tuff, you... what are you doing here? You could you felt like you couldn't speak. Is that it? We're overbowering. Over Where's Jack Wow, oh, there here. he is. Jack off. <laughs> it's, it's all uphill now, I know, right? <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I got to go back in. There's a couple clips right there in that time frame that she spit out that we need to get. I had to go back and pull them. I forget. You said something else right before that. I can't remember what you said. I, I just can't remember now. Hmm. It'll be fun. I don't know. All I remember is going to deep throw a train. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah Andy. <laughs> Andy, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Uh, I want to deep throw the train. <laughs> Not me. I won't get played. <laughs> yeah, play that one. This is the start of a one hour goodbye. Yeah, that's probably right. Oh, man. Hmm. Marcus. Oh. Did you get Discord to work on Xbox? Oh. oh. <laughs> no, with a capital no. It's Where gotta be on. Isn't isn't Discord built into the Xbox? I swear it is. Because I mean, I know people that do it. Like, I'm, yeah, but I'm it's watching. Marcus. It's not people. True, Marcus does technology all day and is technologically <laughs> impaired. That's for sure. No, but he, when he said that, that made sense to me because it's same with most people that work with CAD. Can't even fucking restart a computer. I live with one. That's true, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus does CAD, but he can't find the CAD on the keyboard to spell CAD. It's crazy. It's like I know. I know these things. <laughs> Georgie. Sorry. Sorry, Elton. I apologize. I'm down with I'm bad with downloads mm -hmm. and software. Mm -hmm. I wanna suck your cock! <laughs> Oh, Hold on, let me yeah. clean up. <laughs> let me clean up. <laughs> Sweet Anita. Mm -hmm. I'll get her. I'll try. Yeah, Tracy's got to. I'm, Tracy needs to extend out on this Twitch and get these women. No, no. She won't. I mean, that will be a tough one. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Why she, would she be a tough one? She, I mean, I, I haven't even said hello. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh. oh I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to take time. They all take time. I mean, it took like. It's... She's got a huge following. I mean, her oh, YouTube. It, her YouTube gets half a million views. What? For what? Like outbursts? Like if I put that like on YouTube, I want to suck cock. You think that would get me views? I mean, cause I'll do that. Put her in, sweet and and. Sweet no, I'm gonna put you in. Like and put. Her in. I want to deep throw the train. <laughs> 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 oh God. Mm -hmm. Drew, did you add me on the game by chance? Mm. 
Oh, man. Crazy. I'm getting spent, man. I don't know. Krillin! Who's your boyfriend? Hi, guys. Zaheer here, doing my <laughs> YouTube schedule. <laughs> oh. Krillin, if you could spend one night with anybody in this world, who would it be? Gay John. What, Hung Way Low? Is that what you're talking about, Great Drew? Needs. Yeah, but there's a there's a pound sign and num and numbers after it though. Once you're in the game, mm -hmm. if you look in the top right corner, there's a pound mm -hmm. sign and numbers after it. Shoe tube. Shoe tube. What right? Yeah. This is crazy. The taco meal, the the, the three tacos. <laughs> <sighs> I can have so much fun with Krillin. Like I, I just got I we gotta get we going back to Krillin's power bottom boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, did I, I did I send you the picture? I did. Yeah, of the military stuff. <laughs> Gay John. That was really him? Like that was yes. like a mannequin. I thought that was a man. No, that's Gay John. Oh gosh. Joni, if you're here, I'm sorry I didn't reply. Like for two that days. That's crazy. Something. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was real. Yeah, no, that's K. That's like a mannequin, a straight up mannequin. I know he did a great job. Mm. That's crazy. That is wild. silly. That's silly. Mm. All right, all right. Let's get out of here. Ready? I'm ready. I sent up my hustle on a friend request. Did it actually go through for you, Elton? Did it go through? <laughs> oh deep, my. deep throat a train <laughs> oh my god that's brilliant oh hi tim <laughs> who who's here tim tim just woke up too oh. georgina and georgina and tim wake up at the same time i'm questioning oh, this and tracy was just talking you know what tim you know did you hear what tracy just said you want to do to you i want to suck your cock <laughs> that's ridiculous hey brandon how are you oh unbelievable what a night what a night it will search and find them really i think that's an xbox thing because it doesn't work for me man on pc there's something about cross platform it doesn't work at hey, all brandon. it's crazy i have to know the numbers or it won't go through but i should be i might be able to add them through you like if you add them and then, Drew, are you on? <laughs> oh, all right, Tim. Good. At least you know. Tim, what about Krillin? Do you, know, do you know about Krillin? Krillin, tell Tim who you're in love with. Gay John. See? It's getting weird in here. I'm telling you. Or fun. However you want to look at it. <laughs> Don't be negative. <laughs> We can get him. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's get out of here. Time to go. Time to go. Are you going to go. play? Are you going to play? If anybody else is going to play. Marcus is playing, yeah. Everybody head over to Twitch. We're Put going to link. Twitch, bitch. Can you... Everyone here knows how to find it. I'm going to... Yeah, it's just my name on Twitch, same. And Marcus is on Twitch, and... Your name? Cocksucker? Yeah. Um... Addicted to Hustles on Twitch. Bye, Just Me. Just Me's on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Uh, Someone's got to play. Someone has to play songs. I only have like 30 bits left. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I know. Everyone that games should get on Twitch and start streaming. It's so much fun. Or just do something, you know. Marcus like, is on. That's yeah. Marcus's name on Twitch right there. He's on Twitch streaming right now. Formerly known Georgina, as Big you would like Sweet Anita. I know you would. Really? Yeah, everybody. We're playing will love it. Call of Duty right now. Wars, uh, the like the newest one, Warzone. Brandon, me, and Alton, and uh, who else is in? Um, Marcus. Wake up, Taco Toe Eater. No, sure. he won't wake up. He pussy. Yeah, he's he's sleeping. Mm -hmm. Gimbal, I saw you follow me on Twitch. Thank you. I don't know, Krillin. Hi, we're trying to get Krillin to come on Twitch. But he I'm, can't. He's like, no, I'm no. I'm pretty Twitch. sure he hasn't said it yet, but I think he may be banned from Twitch. Like he can't go within a thousand feet of Twitch for whatever reason, because he just 
won't even look at Twitch. So there's something there. Yeah, Warzone is free, Brandon. The Warzone part, the Battle Royale, it's free, which is awesome. Yeah, come so, watch it and see if you like it. Yeah, you can download that for I'll free. I'll be in the chat. It's really cool. Yeah, it's um, it's fun. It's different. It's different. Ray, you don't have anywhere to be in the morning, do you? <laughs> there he is. There's Marcus Big Texas Picker Sumo Thrift right there. Twitch That's has a restaining order against Krillin, exactly. I think so. I'm pretty sure, Tim, because mm -hmm. for some reason, he won't even touch Twitch. He don't have to get an app. He just mm -hmm. literally can go to twitch.tv. Yeah, he's... He There's won't. something there. I'm pretty sure Actually. that... I think Tim's right. There's a restraining order or something. I'm just lonely out, and that's all it boils down to. <laughs> if I had a life, I, I wouldn't probably be so supportive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just well, if honest. we had a life, we wouldn't be on there playing. <laughs> I always, know, exactly. Um, it's a lose-lose, yeah. lose, so it's just fun. It is what it is. Yeah, it's cool. Um, oh, you don't have a wrench? Um, who? Alton. What's his name? I can't Mark see I can't Marcus, see. can you run over there? I'm so bad at fucking. Hold on, I can't get it. I I can put. Uh, okay. I hate that I can't see who has a wrench and who doesn't without being yeah. on YouTube. Because I mean, that. most of them do, so you're good. You just there's a few I know, that I you forget old. to grab. It's not that I forget that I just don't. I don't. Well, see you it. don't see it. Yeah. All right, there you go. You can put it in there. Oh, now. thanks. Um, you can bye, put it in there now. Oh, he's got a cock and a hen. Whew. I think I got... Didn't I get everybody? Uh, who did there. I there Somebody you go. I missed. Um, there Brandon. you go. Cool. See you over there, guys. There you go. All right. Thank you all for coming in and putting up with my stupidity. <laughs> and Tracy, you got to... Sorry. What did you think oh. that you want to do again? I thought I was... <laughs> oh, God, it's wrong. You're not fucked up. That, oh, no, 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 that no, was no, terrible. No. What? You want to what? I want to suck your cock. Oh, all right. Night. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> I want to suck your cock. Hi, guys. Zahia here. Doing my YouTube trash. It's a lovely lass. Dr. Morning. You know how much hate I'm going to get now? <laughs> Three taco. Trash. <laughs> Gay John. You'll never escape it because I can play these on Twitch too. It's no. fine. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. See Bye. you. See you. When? What day are we on? See you Thursday. Oh, I might do something. I need to do something on my channel, so stay tuned. I are you going to do something live? Yeah, but I don't know when a good time is. I really can't figure it out. Mm. We'll see. Any day. Any day is good. Yeah. Bye. Whatever Tommy's life. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go against